Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Silver Super, picked up Gwen at the beginning. Chapter 61. Outside the Manor. Lin got out of the car with Chin in her arms, and now Chin is in a coma. Although she will no longer be affected by the Phoenix Force, after all, the use of the power of the mind just now is still excessive. It is also necessary to compress the spore smoke, and to protect everyone present from touching the smoke. For her, this performance is already very good. After putting Chin back on the bed, Lin covered her with the quilt. In fact, Lin could feed Chin a fairy bean now. This will restore the violin. But Lin didn't do it, because Gwen needed to realize her mistake tonight. Otherwise, you will still make the same mistake when you encounter this kind of thing in the future. It's okay to be soft-hearted. But not for everyone. Peter in that state has lost his humanity, and Gwen's soft heart is cruel to herself. Sign in. Sign in successfully, get the ice and fire double heaven water, the effect enhancement version. Close black lens bracket. Ice and fire dual heaven water. The temperature can be adjusted according to the user's requirements, and enjoy the pleasure of ice and fire at the same time. Close black lens bracket. Um, how can you still sign such a weird thing? System you better really be a serious system. Can you sign something like this? Lin silently put it away in the system space. Although the system is not serious, it's fine if I'm serious. Put it away first. This kind of thing can't just flow out casually. There was a sudden noise outside, and Gwen ran over from the balcony. Before she could report the joy of victory, I saw Chin lying on the bed, looking unconscious. Lin, what happened to Sister Zhe? Under Lin's explanation, Gwen understood everything immediately. Immediately, the eye sockets became rosy, and then the big eyeballs fell out, it's all my fault. Lin gave a few simple words of comfort, and then walked out of the room, letting Gwen stay by Chin's side, 583. What you do, you have to be responsible for yourself. After leaving the room, Lin sighed helplessly, it was another night of sleeping by myself. At this time, the Red Queen suddenly appeared. Looking at Lin with some doubts, Master, is it comfortable to sleep together? Although the Red Queen's database has all the knowledge about it, some feelings cannot be described in words. Neither do pictures. Movies don't work either. Lin's face froze suddenly, and she looked at the Red Queen. It seems that self-awareness is not a good thing. If you don't believe me, the current Red Queen will take the initiative to ask him questions. Red Queen, don't think too much. You are an artificial intelligence, remember to pay attention to Chin's physical condition at all times. Although I just checked that there is no problem with Chin, she is just in a coma, but after all, she still has Phoenix Force in her body. It's impossible not to keep an eye on it all the time. Understood, Master. Seeing the back of Lin returning to the room, a puzzled expression appeared on Queen Hong's face. Is it really comfortable? She searched all over her database, and although there were many descriptions, she didn't feel anything. As the queen of top artificial intelligence, a trace of thirst for knowledge began to appear in her eyes. But soon disappeared again. Early the next morning, Chin woke up from the bed, and after a night's rest, she was not only better, but even more energetic. Before Chin could figure out what was going on, she felt something pressing down on her. Turning his head, he saw that Gwen was asleep beside his bed. I immediately figured out what was going on, and was about to help Gwen cover the quilt and get up first. Gwen opened her eyes and woke up. Seeing that Chin was fine, Gwen held back her tears and hugged Chin's neck. In the end, I couldn't help it. Sister Chin, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm fine. I'm just overusing my ability and getting some sleep. Lin, who was preparing breakfast downstairs, heard Gwen crying early in the morning, and didn't pay much attention to it after a faint smile. He believed that after this scare, Gwen would not be merciful in the future. Soft-hearted, many times there is a price to pay. For example, in a certain parallel universe, Spider-Man, who has already experienced the Cosmic War, ruined everything because of his soft heart. It's okay to be soft-hearted. But don't be reckless. That's what Lin wants to teach Gwen this time. Half an hour later, Chin led Gwen, whose eyes were red from crying, down the stairs, without changing the spider battlesuit on Lu Wen. Gwen walked up to Lin with an aggrieved look, and hugged Lin directly. As if looking for comfort. 
Jean stood by the kitchen door and smiled slightly, while looking at Lin jealously. Lin smiled, and simply patted Gwen's head, are you hungry? Um, go and change your clothes first, and then give it to the Red Queen. The Red Queen will continue to design a battle suit for you based on the battle data above. Come over and eat. Sad girls come and go quickly. After eating the delicious food, Gwen returned to the happy and lively look before. He and Chin talked and laughed at the dinner table. The two women ignored Lin directly. After eating, Lin went back to her room and turned on the computer for an hour of coding work. Not long after, Jean made a glass of warm milk and came up to stick it on Lin's back. Lin felt the softness from his back. I was distracted for a while, but I had to settle the things in front of me first. Chin looked at it for a while, and said half-jokingly, Mr. Lin, have you decided to make your novels into movies? This, it can't be said that it was planned like this last time, and Jin Bing was cleaned up in the end. As an X-Men, Chin knows the weight of gold. I have this plan, but I haven't found a good partner for the time being. Do you have any ideas? Chin shook her head. Just curious, are you writing a song of ice and fire? Yes, the last part. After finishing this part, I will take a break and spend more time with you and Gwen. Chin heard the meaning of Lin's words. You scoundrel, who wants you to accompany me? I don't know who it is, begging me to slow down every time, and if I'm slow, I have to hurry up. Chin's face blushed quickly after being punctured, but soon thought of a way to counter Lin. After pulling Lin away, he got under the computer desk. Lin froze for a moment. Where did she learn this? Empire State University. As soon as Gwen entered the campus, there was a call from behind. Gwen, do you know about Peter? Behind him, a young man came up. Harry, I know everything. Harry Osborne, Norman Osborne's son, Peter's friend. Harry's face was a little ugly, as if he was explaining, actually, I told my father not to cut off the funding for Peter's lab. But you know, although Harry was Norman Osborne's son, he never spoke to his father. The only time was to help the school organize the exhibition of Osborne industry. But that time, it can only be said that Norman also had the idea of promoting Osborne Industries in his heart. Gwen also comforted, Harry, you are not to blame for this incident. I want to go see Peter later, will you come with me? Gwen thought for a moment, then nodded. It was noon soon, and at Gwen's request, George drove to the school gate. Gwen sat in the passenger seat, Harry in the back seat. George said, Peter Parker is currently under police surveillance and recuperating in a hospital. By the way, your Osborne Industries hospital. George didn't forget to remind Harry in the backseat. Harry could only smile wryly. George continued, it was really thanks to Spider-Man last night, otherwise we might have been wiped out. It's not just about himself and the police officers here, but the whole world. After this battle, George also had a much better view of spiders, at least not as hostile as before. Along the way, George talked a lot about what happened afterwards. Soon the three came to a glance, with George leading the way and definitely no one stopped them. After arriving at a strictly guarded ward, the two walked in together. Peter was lying on the hospital bed, receiving medical observation, watching his two friends come to see him. Gwen, Harry, I. For a while, Peter didn't know what to say. In the end, after the three people in the ward chatted casually, the visit was considered to be over. After coming out, Harry was about to share his feelings with Gwen. At the end of the corridor, another figure walked over. Daddy, Harry couldn't believe that he would see his father Norman Osborne here. George was also wondering why Norman appeared in the hospital. Although this is their hospital, as far as he knows, Norman rarely sets foot in these places. Norman also noticed Harry's figure in the crowd. He walked over with a hint of displeasure on his face, and expressed to George that he was here to see Peter. As for the reason, I met Peter once and admired Peter very much. The reason is infinite, and George has no reason to stop it. Norman walked up to Harry's side first, and patted Harry's shoulder, I'm very unhappy now. But it's not necessary not to go home for so many days, just go home with me later. All of you, look at the young master. After finishing speaking, Norman walked in regardless of Harry, and Harry knew that he couldn't escape this time. He could only obediently stay at the door, together with some of Norman's bodyguards. 
After Norman entered the room, Peter was also taken aback. Mr. Norman Osborne, why are you here? Norman indicated that he was Harry's father, and that it was appropriate for his son's friends to come and see him. After getting closer, Norman continued to ask, Peter, can you tell me in detail how you feel after injecting the regeneration gene reagent? This, although Peter didn't know what Norman wanted to do, he still honestly expressed his feelings. After half an hour passed, George who was outside was a little suspicious. Harry and the two have such a good relationship and haven't chatted for so long, why did Norman chat for so long? Harry, are your father and Peter on good terms? This is the second time they've met. Harry had a straightforward temper and had no other ideas, but George felt something was wrong when he heard it. Just when I was about to open the door and see what the two of them were doing inside. Norman opened the door and walked out, seeming to see George's doubts. Without George asking, he explained, I had a chat with Peter about biochemistry. You should know that we should have a lot to talk about in this regard. Let's go, Harry. George looked at their backs, pushed the door open and entered. Peter, what did Norman talk to you about just now? He asked me how I felt after the mutation. He is also a biologist, so I understand. Before George had time to think about it, Peter suddenly asked him, George uncle, what will happen to me like this? I don't know Peter, I'm just in charge of catching you. The rest of the matter is out of my control, and I won't know until you recover from your injury. Peter looked at Gwen at the door with guilt in his eyes. Gwen, I'm sorry. Gwen smiled lightly, Peter, welcome back. Beach house. My god, what are you doing here Tony? The little pepper who slept with Tony all night, got up and couldn't find Tony, so he came to the laboratory to look for it. Only to find that the laboratory has completely changed. Not to mention the messy pile. There was still such an opening on the wall, those who didn't know it thought they had encountered a house demolition. I just did a new experiment, rest assured that I have contacted to deal with it. They'll be here today. As soon as the words fell, the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S came out, Sir, the decoration team has arrived. Look, here we come. J-A-R-V-I-S, you tell them what to do. I'm taking Pepper somewhere else. Tony, I'm afraid not now. The company still has a lot of things for me to deal with. Tony took Xiaojili's hand indifferently. I'll give you a day off. I'm the chairman and I have the final say. Others let them wait. Everyone knows Tony's character, let them wait and wait obediently. Otherwise, there is no need to cooperate. But Tony's pepper had no choice but to change his clothes and get in Tony's car. After getting in the car, he still asked, Tony, where are we going? Did the milk tea last time taste good? Definitely, that's the best drink I've ever had. Little Pepper said happily, now that he thinks of that taste, he still feels a little hungry. Before drinking that milk tea, she basically never thought that there is such a delicious drink in this world. It was simply beyond her imagination. So I'm taking you to drink milk tea now. Really? Then my rest is meaningful. Isn't the meaning of your break to go out with me? Tony's rhetorical question made Little Pepper unable to think of words, and in the end he could only say, it's all. You are very important, but milk tea is better. For this reason, I agree. Tony immediately drove to Lynn's estate. In Stark Industries, Happy received a message from Tony and Pepper. It's okay, you just have fun and have fun. Leave the company to me and Natasha Romanoff. Play as much as you can, even if you don't come back to the company today, it doesn't matter. Trust me and Natasha Romanoff's ability, you know. After hanging up the phone, Black Widow, who just came to work, also walked into the office, when she found that Pepper was not in the office. Happy, where's Miss Pepper? Oh, she went on vacation with Tony today, and now it's just the two of us here. Let's chat and watch movies together. Actually, you can rest today. Black Widow directly ignored all the teasing words behind Happy, and the two protagonists disappeared. What are you doing here? Sorry, Happy. I have a lot of papers to deal with, if you have time, go and make me a cup of coffee. Definitely. As a gentleman, I am always at your service. Please wait. Happy walks towards the coffee machine very flirtatiously, while Black Widow secretly sends the message to S.H.I.E.L.D. Beg for the first order. Beg for the first order. Beg for the first order. Seek various data. S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick Fury received a message from Black Widow. 
I was stunned when I saw it. It's such a time, still in the mood to put down Stark Industries and go on vacation. But it's right to think about it, it's just that this kind of life is coming to an end, so you should spend more time with the people around you. Um, Nick Fury felt that moment was getting closer. Maybe when the time comes, I will take this box of things left by Howard to find Tony. He didn't know how happy he was. Hill, Hill, who heard Nick Fury calling himself outside, immediately entered Nick Fury's office. Sir, what do you want from me? If you're free now, help me see where Tony is driving. Yes, sir. Hill immediately began to operate on his tablet, but soon his face was replaced by disappointment. Can't find it, it seems JARVIS blocked their network. It seems that after what happened last time, he is now on guard against a shield. Nick Fury just nodded slightly. As expected. It's okay, you go down first. Sir. Hill suddenly spoke, making Nick Fury look up at her. Hill agent, if you have anything to say, just say it. I have a feeling that Tony Stark may have researched a new element. That's why I'm so relaxed now. After pondering for a while, Nick Fury shook his head calmly. It should be impossible, even if Howard researched that kind of thing, there is something for him to use as a blueprint. Tony is unlikely to be able to do it. Nick Fury knew very well that Howard had researched that thing by studying cosmic magic. And keep the lab notes in S.H.I.E.L.D. These years, Tesseract has been stored in S.H.I.E.L.D. How could Tony have researched it without Tesseract? Could he still be smarter than Howard? In Nick Fury's heart, Howard is the smartest person in the world. Now that Nick Fury himself has said so, then he'll definitely has no idea of continuing to persuade O5. Instead, he quietly left the office. After Hill left, Nick Fury smiled lightly, Tony can research the same substance as Tesseract. What dream did I have? Under the table, after making a swallowing movement, Chin walked out contentedly. Then he said with some resentment, my mouth is sore. Lin smiled, it's normal, otherwise why would you beg for mercy? HMPH, I'll go home first. Go ahead, my work is done. I have to say that Chin still has a way in this regard, she is indeed a mature woman. At this time, the projection of the Red Queen appeared beside Lin, just when Lin thought that the Red Queen was going to ask some strange questions. The Red Queen said, Master, Tony Stark is here with Pepper Potts. The two of them, Lin was a little strange, but quickly thought of the reason. It's probably because Tony came over to thank him, and at the same time he was greedy for his own milk tea. This guy. Lin got up and walked to the first floor, Tony had already opened the door and walked in, hey, great writer. Nicknames are what Tony is best at. Pepper looked at Lin in disbelief, hello, Mr. Lin. It's really a bit abrupt. I didn't know that Tony was visiting you, so I dressed a little casually. It's okay, Tony and I are good friends. Lin replied with a smile. Little Pepper is so formal, but it makes him a little uncomfortable. I'm sure you know why I'm here. Tony looked like you understood, Lin gave him a speechless look, get it yourself in the refrigerator. Good. Tony ran over immediately, took out two cups bluntly, and gave one cup to Chili. After Xiao Jili drank it, he nodded in satisfaction. This is the taste. Quote, I didn't expect Mr. Lin to be so good not only in literature, but also in diet. A lot of people say that. You are not humble at all. Tony complained. Just like you. The two bickered with each other, making Pepper couldn't help but smile, Tony doesn't have many friends. It seems that this is another good friend. Mr. Lin, is your friend here? On the second floor, Zichi looked downstairs. When Chin saw their faces, Chin immediately recognized them. Tony Stark and his assistant Pepper Potts. But Tony didn't know Chin upstairs, and just looked at Lin in surprise. It's like saying, or you kid can play. Tony has seen countless women, but this is the first time he has seen Chin. That unique charm. Little Pepper recognized it at a glance. She hosted the dance list last time, how could you not know her? At the same time, I was also very surprised in my heart, why Lin is so powerful, I just met at the dance last time. Take them home now, and the other party is still a mutant. Definitely, Pepper would probably be even more surprised if she knew Chin's status in Xavier's school. Hi, Miss Jean Grey. You know her. Tony looked at Pepper in surprise. 
After Pepper's explanation, he admired Lin even more after entering the temple. Mutant can be eaten. You are awesome. The two women wisely went to the other side and left it to the two men. Lin, I really want to thank you this time. I have already researched new elements, and I can replace them with new elements after two days. Tony pointed to his chest. Lin smiled lightly. It's okay, I also got a lot of good things from you, besides, those things were originally left to you by Howard. Having said that, but I didn't realize it, didn't I? Tony raised the cup of milk tea and made a gesture of toast to express his thanks. But the strange thing is, since the old man left something like that, why didn't he give any hint? Tony couldn't figure out why. Lin definitely wouldn't say that it was Nick Fury's plan to send charcoal in a timely manner, and Tony would understand this kind of thing when he thought about it. There is no need to say too much. The topics that men talk about are nothing more than career and women. Especially two successful men. By the way, there will be a road car race in Morocco in two days, if you are interested, go to participate together. Lin originally wanted to refuse, but she agreed when she thought there would be a good show to watch. It seems that you can also drag racing. No a bit. Then we have to have a game together. Soon Tony left, taking four or five cups of milk tea as he left. Lin wondered if Tony would become a fat man if he went on like this. After seeing off Tony, Chin smiled and said, it seems that you and Tony Stark have a very good relationship. I have a better relationship with you. Lin put her arms around Chin and said with a smile, it's enough to spoil you just now, now it's my turn. Don't think that someone came and escaped. Mr. Lin. I was wrong. In the room, the sound of life hodgepodge sounded again. Osborne Industries. Back in his office, Norman looked at the scenery not far away, his eyes were deep as if he was thinking about something. Soon a high-level executive from Osborne Industries walked in. Boss, what do you want me to do? Is this hospital under your management? Norman threw out a business card casually. Seeing the hospital information above, the man immediately said, I manage it, boss. The police recently admitted a patient named Peter Parker, you know that? Yes. Because our hospital has always cooperated with the police, I know that there are patients admitted, but I don't know the name of the other party. Go, give him a blood test tonight. And send his blood to my lab. Although he didn't know what Norman wanted that man's blood for, he could only obey the boss's orders. The hospital just wants a tube of blood from someone else, it's not too simple. Yes, I'll do it right away. After the man left, Norman walked to the hangar and changed into a white coat. Then went into the elevator. In the hospital, several police officers guarding the door of the ward saw a nurse approaching, and immediately asked vigilantly, what are you doing here? A blood test to see if there are any sequelae. For this reason, Yin Jia definitely did not stop. Besides, they are all aware of Peter's situation. Although the consequences are serious, generally speaking, no one will come to assassinate him. There is no dark industrial chain designed. Just a brief look at the things on the nurse's car, and let it go. The nurse came out after drawing the blood, and happened to be seen by George who came back. What is that nurse here for? Give Peter Parker a blood test, we've checked and it's fine. George nodded, and didn't care too much. You guys go back, the shift has changed. After one hour, Osborne Industries, in a secret laboratory. George looked at the two tubes of blood that had just been delivered, smiled lightly and started his own experiment. In his laboratory, there are various living organisms. One of the living body experiments turned out to be that a living person was locked in a dormant cabin just like that. After analyzing Peter's blood, George smiled happily. As expected. Howard Stark, soon the super soldiers I have developed will surpass your Captain America. Just wait and see. I, Norman Osborn, am the greatest Scientologist in the world, not a dead man like you. After Norman walked out of the laboratory satisfied, he got into his car and went home. At home, Harry was already waiting. Seeing Norman come back, Harry immediately used a scolding tone, why don't you give Peter and them more time? If you are willing to give it a little more time, this kind of thing can't happen. Peter wouldn't be like that. Facing his son's inquiry, Harry said calmly, Harry, I don't own the company alone. I've bought a lot of time for them, it's more of a board decision. Certainly. A lot of times I just can't help it. You are lying. 
Norman frowned. Take the young master back to his room, and don't let him come out without my permission. Wait until he calms down. The old butler stepped forward to support Harry, and Harry shook off the old butler's hand. I can walk by myself. Looking at his rebellious son, Norman could only sigh helplessly. Harry, I'm doing this for the future of the Osborne family. You'll understand later. Afterwards, the old butler came down from upstairs. Master, the young master is also for his friends. I hope you don't blame the young master. I understand, let them come and give me a massage. Yes, sir. In addition to signing in, Lin will play with Chin and Gwen in the manor. Gwen went to school, and Jean was at home. Jean goes to class and stays at home with Gwen. When the two of them are gone, bask in the sun to enhance your ability. Life is getting better and better. The next sign in did not get any actual enhancements, and they were all unscrupulous ones. This also made Lin think about when to use these props. But before using it, we need a three-person battle first. Ag. In Lin's heart, she began to play small juju. Beach house. Tony looked at the renovated laboratory, and 637's new arc reactor in the middle of the laboratory that had completed various tests. The triangular energy emission module in the middle represents stability. It also represents the vital signs that start from the beginning and gradually stabilize. Tony took off the second generation arc reactor on his chest, and pressed the new one on his chest. The moment I put it on, I felt a powerful energy emanating from my chest. The symptoms of palladium poisoning in the surrounding area have all been relieved. This feeling is really great, Tony said without exaggeration. Who doesn't like this feeling of being reborn? J-A-R-V-I-S, is the U-R-K ready? Ready, sir. Tony stood on the dressing table, wearing the brand new Mark VI, and Tony soared into the sky instantly. More power means faster speed. Better maneuverability. Ooh, Tony was so excited. The other side. Lin saw this scene through the Red Queen's hand Duan Yi, because of her own relationship Tony developed a new arc reactor in advance. This made Lin very curious, what would happen if that person saw that Tony no longer had palladium poisoning and improved the arc reactor tomorrow. Yes, Morocco rode tomorrow. While Lin was still watching, the voices of two women came from outside. The two came back from shopping. Lin turned off the red projection and looked at the two people who walked in, which one of you is free tomorrow? As soon as these words came out, the faces of both of them turned red at the same time. Everyone thought Lin was going to do something bad again tomorrow. Lin was speechless. Are you like that kind of person? Not good. Lin continued to explain. Tomorrow, I will go to Morocco to participate in a road race, Tony invited me. Whoever is free will accompany me. If everyone is free, they will go together. I can go, there is no class tomorrow. Gwen was the first to raise her hand. Chin also smiled. I don't have my class in school tomorrow, so I can go with you. Okay, then it's settled. But, Gwen suddenly realized something. Lin, isn't your car only for one person? How about the three of us? Lin smiles. It's already ready. Look behind you. Behind Gwen, a limousine was controlled by the Red Queen and drove slowly towards the door. Now that there are too many people, Lin definitely can't just think about herself alone. She bought a car long ago. Just mentioned it yesterday. This car has enough space, the most important thing is that the seats inside can be folded down. While taking care of life and travel, it can also take into account more gameplay. Lin means that when you go camping outside, you can fold down the seat and use it as a place to look up at the stars. Yes that's it. Don't think wildly, think of going elsewhere. Beg the first order. Beg the first order. Morocco Road Race. Races like this are gathered together by racing enthusiasts or those who seek excitement will come here to play. It was originally a small circle. So even though Lin was here, it didn't attract a lot of attention. On the contrary, Gwen and Chin brought by Lin made many people come to toast and strike up a conversation. However, after confirming that the other party was Tony Stark's friend, the others also left Shin Shin. It seems that in this place, you two are more popular than me. Lin looked at the two girls beside her with a smile, Gwen smiled and didn't say much, and Chin said, People like these extreme sports, I don't think they read novels very much. I suppose so. The two looked at each other, they were comforting Lin. At this time, Tony, 
who arrived early, came over with Pepper and Happy, and there was Black Widow beside Pepper. Lin recognized the strongest female agent in S.H.I.E.L.D. at a glance. Next is a group of women, a group of bosses, Happy wants to have a drink with Black Widow. How about it, are you interested in playing a game together? What I said is that we will play together later. I have the car ready. Tony pointed to the two F1 cars on the big screen. Will Miss Pepper allow you to play? Definitely, she doesn't know if I'm going to play, how is she interested? Lin thought for a while, and they all came. It's not interesting to compare. But before that, Tony, your old friend is here. Old enemy. Tony didn't remember any old enemies he had, but he still looked in the direction Lin pointed. His face suddenly became playful. It's him, but he's not an old friend. I think he wanted to bring a reporter to interview me to highlight his relationship with me. In fact, everyone knows that I don't know him very well. It was none other than Justin Hammer, the speaker of Hammer Industries who was beaten by Tony at the hearing. He also controls a military enterprise, his talent is far inferior to Tony's. But this guy was prescient, he was copying Tony and trying to outdo him. For example, today, his hairstyle and dressing style are the same as Tony's. Only the color is different. Tony couldn't help complaining. For the first time, I feel that I have bad taste, really Lin. Lin smiled and said nothing. Sure enough, the person following Justin Hammer was a journalist with a recording pen in his hand. After the two walked over, Justin Hammer wrapped his arms around Tony's neck as if he really knew Tony very well. Tony was in a good mood during this recent incident. If it was the meeting of palladium poisoning, this meeting would start spraying. Hey, Tony, we haven't seen each other since the hearing, how's it going? While talking, he motioned Tony to look at the camera. But soon, Justin Hammer found out sadly that the female reporter was standing on her shoulders and refused to interview. Instead, another person was interviewed. Tony sneered at the right time. Oh, look. It looks like the reporter someone brought in has a change of heart. Why do you say that? Because Tony observed for a while just now and discovered a fact that shocked him. The female reporter brought by Justin Hammer was one of his previous prey. But it was only a matter of one night. Obviously Justin Hammer is not only learning from Tony, but also picking up the trash that Tony throws away. The thought of becoming a fellow with this kind of person. Tony felt a little sick. Hey, shouldn't you be interviewing me and you? Interview with you about the cancellation of the order by the Ministry of Defense. Tony's venomous tongue could not be described as non-venomous, each time he stabbed a knife in Justin Hammer's heart. The Department of Defense only found out after the last hearing that they had been played by Justin Hammer. This guy didn't develop a battle mech at all. All failures. Immediately cancelled the order. Justin Hammer's face was gloomy and terrifying, but the reporter he brought ignored him completely. Instead, he looked at Lin with a nympho look on his face. Hello, are you Mr. Lin? Lin nodded with a smile. It's me. That's great. I'm your fan, big fan. Can you sign me, please? As she said that, the female reporter smiled charmingly, but I don't have anything to sign right now. If you don't mind, I'll go back to the hotel's book to find you at night. This kind of implication is so obvious that it cannot be more obvious. Justin Hammer is dumb. Is this above board cuckolding him? Although it was just for fun, at least this woman was brought by himself. And Tony laughed out loud watching the excitement. For this kind of woman, Lin was honestly not interested at all, and she refused directly, mind you. The female reporter was taken aback. Own seduction. Failed. Justin Hammer finally couldn't help speaking. I remember you, the greatest novelist of this century in the beautiful country. Hello, my name is Justin Hammer, but unfortunately I haven't read your book. It's like trying to find your place again. It's okay, obviously your girlfriend has read it, you can ask her to explain it to you tonight. That way she won't bother me. Ha ha ha. Hearing Lin's reply, Tony finally couldn't help laughing out loud. Not far away, Little Pepper heard Tony's mocking laughter, frowned and turned around. Tony, what are you doing? It's not gentlemanly of you to laugh like that. Tony immediately said, It's okay, Lin and I had a happy event. Okay, don't laugh. Tony forced a smile back. If emotions have color right now, Justin Hammer's face must be greens. And it's so green that it glows. Walk. 
He took the reporter directly and walked away. Let's go, the game starts now. But we're going to sneak over. Tony quietly left the lounge with Lin. Not far away, Gwen quickly noticed that Tony and Lin had left the lounge and was about to ask Lin where they were going. Gwen, leave them alone. The sound of the piano immediately sounded in Gwen's heart, and Gwen stopped his movements. Chin, on the other hand, continued to chat with Pepper on other topics with a blank expression, while Happy stood beside Black Widow. He holds two wine glasses in his hand. Black Widow knows Lin, and also knows Chin. It is precisely because of the acquaintance that she is now wondering why Phoenix in X-Men is so close to this great writer. The relationship between the two seems to be very unusual. There was even that unidentified blonde girl. But curiosity is curiosity, these people are not within the scope of her mission, so naturally she doesn't have too many thoughts. Best to report to Nick Fury when the time comes. The other side. Tony has brought Lin to his garage, where there are two Apex F1 cars. Like that color. Tony rarely let others choose first. But he spoke up, Lin chose the white one directly, and the rest of the blue was Tony's. Then change your clothes and get ready to have a good time. After the two changed their clothes, they looked like they were getting ready to get in the car, and they were quickly synchronized to the lounge through the camera. Pepper, who was drinking, saw Tony actually go racing. Also with Lin. Immediately, she became angry, since she told Tony just now to maintain a gentlemanly demeanor. But at this moment, she didn't want to remain a lady anymore. Looking directly at Happy, didn't you say we'll just take a look, how did he end up in the game? As Tony's good friend, Harpy definitely wants to help Tony hide it at this time. I don't know either, he told me to come and see. The little pepper said that he was very tired. Looking at Chin with his forehead, sorry, I didn't know he would take Mr. Lin to engage in such a dangerous sport. Gwen looked innocent and harmless, is it dangerous? Lin drives like this a lot in New York. Little Pepper's complexion changed, and then he became even more speechless. Co-authoring is the same hobby, right? Just now she thought Tony dragged Lin there. Gwen and Jean were the ones who sat on the Lin. So I have great confidence in Lin. Miss Pepper, who do you think will win this game? Definitely Tony. If you make trouble, you will make trouble, and if you are unhappy, you will be unhappy. But when it comes to matters of a man's dignity, Little Pepper doesn't turn to others at all. In her mind it was definitely Tony who could win. I think Mr. Lin will win. The two women immediately reached a consensus and clinked glasses gently. A bet is established in Invisible. Only Gwen still had a look of curiosity on her face. Why does something strange seem to have happened, but it doesn't look like it happened? But that doesn't matter anymore, Lin's competition is about to begin. In the picture, Gwen immediately found Lin's car, and when the countdown ended, all the cars rushed out like arrows. Everyone has their hands on the steering wheel. Only Lin is one-handed. Even though she is wearing a helmet, she still looks relaxed and calm. Definitely this scene is invisible to the people in the lounge. After a few drifts and a straight line sprint, Lin quickly came to the first place. While driving, Lin still had time to look around the road conditions. Strange, according to this time, the whip should appear, right? Whipsuo Ivan Vanki, the villain in Iron Man 2, whose father Anton Vanki used to be a scientist at S.H.I.E.L.D. and studied the arc reactor with Howard Stark. However, he was driven away because of his evil intentions, and stole the blueprints when he left and signed his name on the design drawing. Before the interim, he also told his son that the Stark family were robbers. So Ivan Vanki wanted to find Tony's revenge, and the location of the first revenge was on the track of the Morocco road race. Sure enough, Lin soon noticed that there was a commotion in the audience. Not far away, a person wearing a work uniform walked to the center of the track, took out two glowing whips and rubbed sparks on the ground. The clothes on his body were also burned at high temperature because of the device. The electric current equipment on him was exposed. The most conspicuous of these is the arc reaction on his chest. Furnace. Lin was the first, and the figure quickly entered Ivan Vanki's eyes. Ivan Vanki is now killing people indiscriminately. Seeing that the number one is getting closer, he just swung his whip off. The terrifying high temperature on the whip can directly split an F1 car in half. Just when the whip was about to fall, 
Lin passed Ivan Vanky with a gorgeous drift flick and stopped not far behind him. Before Ivan Vanky recovered, the next car arrived. Ivan Vanky repeated the action just now, and this time he finally hit it, which directly caused the F1 car to roll over. Both the auditorium and the conference room were rioting at this moment. Pepper immediately asked Happy to drive and go to the track to pick up Tony. How else can I say that Tony loves Pepper, and only Pepper would risk his life to save him without hesitation? Gwen was also anxious. But it's a pity that I didn't bring the spider battlesuit this time, but in order to save Lin, it doesn't matter if I expose myself. The piano stopped Gwen immediately. Mr. Lin is fine, don't worry. Let's drive there first. Zero. Okay, sister. Soon, Tony's car also appeared not far away. Seeing Tony approaching, Ivan Vanky smiled with a successful plan. He wanted to just split Tony in half right here. Tony's driving skills are not blocked, although the last attack on the whip rope also caused a rollover. But at least his life was saved. After getting out of the car, I saw the whip rope attacking again. Every time, he dodged the attack of the whip to the limit. Lin got out of the car unhurriedly, want to help Tony. Obviously not, because at this time a car rushed over and hit the whip rope directly. Tony recognized at a glance that it was his own car, including Happy and Pepper. Tony immediately yelled, give me that red briefcase, quick. After some tugging, Pepper finally threw the Mark V briefcase out. After wearing Mark V, the triangular energy symbol on the chest lights up. Lin was a little curious, it seems a little different from the Mark V I know. The Mark V is originally a portable armor made by Tony for emergencies, and it is lacking in function. The appearance is also crude. But the current Mark V doesn't look bad at all in terms of appearance. Soon, Lin understood what was going on, because Tony discovered the new element in advance. The power output is stronger, unlike before, you have to strengthen your body, and there are energy issues. Except for the new version of the Mark V, which is not equipped with powerful artillery weapons, there are many others. Soon the whip was subdued. Tony's armor didn't take any damage. After unplugging the energy device on the chest of the whip, according to the analysis of JARVIS, this thing is the arc reactor. Before Tony was still talking nonsense at the hearing, saying that no one could research it except himself. Didn't expect to be slapped so soon. After crushing the reactor in his hand, Tony came to Lin's side, it seems that you won this game. Definitely, I'm number one. At this time Jean and Gwen also drove and felt, Lin, are you okay? Mr. Lin, who is that person just now? Not far away, the whip has been taken away by the security personnel at the scene, Lin looked at Tony, it should be Tony's enemy. Gwen looked at Tony angrily. He was the one who almost got Lin hurt. Tony waved his hands innocently. I don't know him at all, he might be a terrorist or something. Just go and see him. In prison, under the clearing of the identity relationship, Tony appeared in the cell where Ivan Vanky was being held with a face full of injuries. Lin is also here. No reason, just out of curiosity to watch the show. Sure enough, soon, Ivan Vanky revealed Tony's previous heart disease. Tony Stark, both of you father and son are thieves. Palladium poisoning will end up killing you in an ugly way. Ivan Vanky smiled cruelly, but Tony looked calm. This made Ivan Vanky's smile stop abruptly. Aren't you worried about your palladium poisoning? Why worry, I have already researched new replacement elements. When Lin and Tony left the cell, they could still hear Ivan Vanky's heart piercing curses inside. Obviously the other party cannot accept such a result. Moroccan road racing thing. Log in quickly for the hottest factual news. Tony Stark was hunted down by a mysterious man. Enemy hunting. Who are the enemies of Stark Industries? Instructions from the Minister of Defense. The assassin is really what he is. In short, all kinds of outrageous titles exist. On the way home, Lin also handed over the car directly to the Red Queen to take charge of it, while she read the news on the internet interestingly. It has to be said that these people understand heat. So who is the guy who assassinated Tony? After watching the news, Chin asked some curious questions. In her opinion, the Ministry of National Defense must not be able to do such a thing. After all, where is Tony's identity? They are not stupid to completely tear their face off with Stark Industries. Nakan could only think of the last possibility. 
Vendetta. Strictly speaking, Tony should be considered a disaster this time. An indiscriminate disaster. Both Gwen and Chin looked at Lin suspiciously, and Lin continued, Queen Red, call up all the information on Ivan Vanki. Soon, the attacker's information appeared in front of the two women. After reading it, they finally understood. This is indeed an innocent disaster. It was obviously Howard and Shield who made it up, but it turned out that Tony was responsible for it all. However, I used to think that Tony Stark was the one who invented the new type of energy source, the arc reactor. It didn't occur to him that his father, Howard Stark, was the first. It's no wonder that many people think Howard is the smartest person in the world. For this statement, Lin also nodded in agreement. Not to mention anything else, Howard is not the only person who studies Tesseract, Hydra before, Marvel, Shield after. As a result, Howard is the only one who is working out the actual citation value. What the 9, 340, Head Snakes researched was nothing more than extracting the energy of Tesseract and applying it to weapons. Marvel just developed Tesseract's own function and developed a light speed engine that can help the screws run. Shield was even worse. Since Howard's death, SHIELD's technology has gone completely wrong. Putting up a tesseract also got Loki over, and no one could even understand the notes left by Howard. Speaking of which, Nick Fury should have found out by now. Lin thought. Inside Shield, the video of Tony's attack was also sent back immediately. After watching the whole video, Cake Fury always felt that something was a little strange. Hill, play it again. Okay. The video was played again, and when it reached a critical position, Nick Fury immediately yelled to stop. The picture immediately freezes on the scene where Tony puts on the Mark V. It. At Nick Fury's request, Hill zoomed in on the pause to Nick Fury's chest. Call up the stats of Tony's fight with the Iron King. Iron Overlord, Obadiah retrieved the steel battle armor that was converted from Mark I. After robbing Tony's arc reactor, Tony suffered a lot. The next moment, a contrasting picture appeared on the screen. Hill, have you found the problem yet? Hill who is also an agent, is definitely online, the style of the chest reactor has changed. It used to be circular, now it's triangular. A bad premonition suddenly rose in Nick Fury's heart. Call Natasha Romanoff right away and tell her the time is right and I need to see Tony. Clear. The other side. Tony, who had just experienced danger, was inevitably scolded by Pepper. He could only obediently stay in his room, and Pepper took Happy and Black Widow to deal with the PR issue. Just when Tony was bored, thinking about why he lost to Lynn in the car sale. The door of the office was pushed open. Hi, Natasha Romanoff. Did Pepper forget any papers? Tony joked, but soon he realized something was wrong. Natasha Romanoff actually started to unbutton herself in front of him. If it was before, Tony might really be attracted. But now, Hey, Natasha Romanoff, listen to me. The person who likes you is happy, not me. I think I should get happy, I'm sure he'll like this. Tony Stark, I am S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Natasha Romanoff Ronan. What? Tony looked at Natasha Romanoff with some disappointment, and found that under her OL suit was a leather tights. Look at the documents she took out again. I was stunned for a while. Wait, so you mean you're a spy? Strictly speaking, it's the agent sent by director Nick Fury to monitor you. You have obvious signs of palladium poisoning. And S.H.I.E.L.D. has a cure for you. This time, it got Tony interested. Ever since he met Nick Fury, he has always felt that this old sunspot has bad intentions. Now it's revealed. Now Mr. Nick Fury wants to speak to you alone. Black Widow took out a small box and put it on the ground. Projection communication device, it seems that S.H.I.E.L.D. still has something. Tony saw the magical function of this thing at a glance, and the next moment the device emitted some blue light. The image of Nick Fury wearing a fur coat was projected, looking at Tujong with a serious face. Tony Stark. As soon as the words fell, Tony looked at Black Widow behind him with a pensive expression, don't you think this color is not right? Do you want to adjust it to black first, so that it is more in line with his tone? Even a top agent like Black Widow with a strong psychological quality still couldn't help laughing at this moment. Opening square bracket exclamation mark. Nick Fury looked over with displeasure, and then Black Widow sat up straight again. Tony, I didn't come to bicker with you. Okay, 
Marinated egg head. If you have anything to say, just say it. Comma. Braised egg head. Nick Fury fought back the anger in his heart. He knew that Tony was very good at calling people nicknames. But where is he good at nicknames? This is clearly good at stabbing a knife. Black Widow standing opposite Tony, and Hill standing behind Nick Fury. The thought at the moment is pretty much the same. That's what Tony said. Just tell me, I'm busy. Tony urged impatiently. Nick Fury didn't bother arguing with Tony, and slowly said, the one who attacked you today is Ivan Vanke, the son of Anton Vanke. I've been living abroad in the Middle East, making gadgets and selling them to terrorists. Hearing this, Tony frowned subconsciously. After what happened last time, there are two types of people he hates the most now, one is terrorists. One is someone who sells weapons to terrorists. Wait, how do you know him? Tony immediately found the crux of the problem. Could it be that that guy was sent by S.H.I.E.L.D.? Nick Fury knew, Tony was thinking badly again. Do you think you are the first person in the world to develop the arc reactor? If this hadn't happened, Tony would have proudly replied yes, in his opinion no one could have figured it out. But it's different now. Before there was a new element left by Howard, now there is an alternative arc reactor. Let Tony gradually understand the saying that there is a sky beyond the sky, and there are people beyond people. But that doesn't mean he's humble. Tony replied, even if I am not, then I am the first person to actually apply it. This sentence made Nick Fury speechless for a moment. Because this sentence is impeccable. His father, Anton Vanke, was a former colleague of your father, Howard Stark. You still know my father. Definitely, your father was one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. This news shocked Tony immediately, he never thought that Howard had such a side. Founder of the largest agency in Pretty Country. Seeing that Tony was intimidated, Nick Fury continued with satisfaction. At the beginning, your father wanted to initiate a new energy revolution, but he discovered that palladium can cause palladium poisoning. The arc reactor was not perfect at that time, so he... Nick Fury didn't finish his sentence, but Tony didn't want to hear any more. So he left behind a new element that was completely impossible to create with the technology at the time. That's right. The bad premonition in Nick Fury's heart was getting stronger and stronger, but he still asked without giving up, how do you know? Because I have discovered the new element he left behind and made it. As he spoke, Tony pointed to his chest, through which he could see the triangular light through the shirt. Do you have anything else to say? Chief Braised Egghead. Listen to me Tony, I don't know how you discovered what Howard left behind, but S.H.I.E.L.D. still has the research notes he left behind. What else do you want? Tony heard it. Nick Fury knew these things a long time ago, but he didn't tell himself all the time, and he just waited for the moment when he was most helpless before making a move. Definitely, that's what my father left behind. Tony's tone became a little impatient, he hated the feeling of being used and calculated. In fact, new elements would be discovered without Lin's help. Nick Fury finally brought Howard's research notes, that is, the savior who fell from heaven. But it's different now. From Tony's point of view, Nick Fury is more likely to use what Howard left to himself as a bargaining chip to trade his trust. Nick Fury also understood that this time he played off himself. It will be delivered to your house soon, but I still like you to think about the Avengers plan I told you about. I won't think about it. Plus, you're fired. Tony pointed to Black Widow who was sitting on the sofa, and Black Widow shrugged indifferently. Anyway, from the moment she came in, her task was to observe Tony. Now that the task is over, even if Tony doesn't say it, she will leave. But Tony still said softly, before you leave, make it clear to Pepper and say goodbye to Happy. I will, Stark. Both of them are very good. Black Widow picked up the projected communication on the floor and left Tony's office. Inside S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury, who cut off the projection, punched his own desktop hard. Shet. Duck well cooked. And so it flew. How could it make him, the king of agents who has always been strategizing, feel better? Plus Tony's talk just now. Now Nick Fury is simmering with fire in his heart. Who the hell told Tony about this? Nick Fury didn't think it was Tony who discovered Howard's secret, he made Tony's investigation very clear. Because the relationship between Howard and Tony was not good. So after Howard's death, Tony hardly touched any of Howard's relics, so how did he find out what Howard left behind? Hill. 
Sir. Hill walked over immediately, and Nick Fury said with his intuition, Go and find out, this is where Tony has been and who he has contacted. Give me a clear investigation of everything. Clear. Lin is naturally unclear about the conversation between Nick Fury and Tony. Now he has returned to his manor, swimming in the swimming pool with Gwenchen. After playing for a while, Lin left the pool to cook, and Gwen and Chin were the only ones left in the pool. Gwen saw that there were only two people left. I looked at the piano. Wanting to say something but didn't know how to say it, Chin, as a mutant of the psychic department, immediately discovered Gwen's abnormality. But out of respect for Gwen, she will not directly explore what Gwen is thinking. Just curiously asked, Gwen, what's wrong with you? Chin swam to Gwen's side and put her hands on Gwen's shoulders in a comforting tone. She thought that Gwen was still afraid of what happened today. Unexpectedly, after Gwen plucked up her courage, she looked at Chin seriously, Sister Chin, are you also with Lin? Some things don't need to be finished, and you can quickly understand what they mean. Speaking of this, Chin felt a little ashamed. After all, she regards Gwen as her younger sister, and her younger sister asks herself such things, even if she lives in an open and beautiful country. Still a little shy. Yes, it is. Jean didn't intend to lie to Gwen, because she knew that Gwen was the one who had beauty with Lin in the first place. Doesn't this count as grabbing a man from Gwen? Originally thought that Gwen would blame herself, but unexpectedly Gwen breathed a sigh of relief. That made Chin a little confused. Gwen what does this mean? I thought Sister Chin would not admit it, but it turns out that Sister Chin treated me the best. 5.3 Sure enough, the beautiful Chinese people are very open-minded about this kind of thing. For Gwen, the few of them lived happily together, and that was enough. Immediately afterwards, Gwen asked with some concern, Sister Chin, don't you feel tired? Jean smiled and shook her head. Lin ability, who can stand it? Gwen continued, look, that villain Lin is always bullying us, and we can't beat us one on one. B. Two against one. If Lin were here now, his jaw would drop. He had this idea in his heart, but he never had a chance to bring it up, even if he was killed. It would be Gwen who first came up with the idea. Even Chin can understand a little better. Gwen was something he could never have imagined. Perhaps this is what is called. Contrast. Chin's face turned red. Gwen, isn't it good for us to be like this? It's okay. Elder sister Chin, otherwise, every time I'd be beaten, my bones would almost fall apart. For this kind of thing, we two sisters need to be consistent with the outside world. Gwen had a serious expression on his face. People who didn't know it thought it was a fight but they couldn't find help. In fact, it is not much different in essence. Chin wanted to think about it again, but every time she thought about it, she raised the white flag to surrender first. They say men can't beat women. A strange desire to win suddenly rose in my heart. Looking at Gwen seriously, okay, tonight we will. Before finishing speaking, Lin came out with a few plates of fried rice, and said with a smile, what are you talking about, you are ready to eat. The two women looked at each other and smiled, and suddenly rushed out of the water together. Throwing Lin down by the pool, Gwen even sat on Lin's body, Lin, you're going to surrender tonight. Xavier's School Professor X watched the report on TV with a smile, it's really interesting that someone attacked Tony Stark. If he is willing to hire a mutant as a bodyguard, I believe this kind of thing will never happen again. You're right, Logan. Logan was also in Professor X's office, scoffing at Professor X's suggestion, your idea is a little too naive, let mutant be the bodyguard of those powerful people. You know, what mutant hates the most is those high-ranking humans. And those people are most afraid of mutant. Just chatting casually about the future development of mutant, you still have such a sense of humor. Logan is smoking a cigar, and doesn't bother to pay attention to Professor X who has too much sense of humor. Suddenly, Professor X was stunned. Logan, do you think that person is Chin? Logan looked at the suspended lake. Although the main character of the picture was Tony, there were other people behind him. One of the male figures, with a woman on the left and right. The one on the left is indeed Chin from the figure. Logan observed again, the man next to Chin was the one who came out with Chin that day. If the identity information is correct, then this woman is Chin. Logan nodded. Yes, it's Jean. Now, 
Professor X couldn't sit still. Why would Chin stand with a man, and? And so intimate. Logan frowned, and looked at Professor X suspiciously. Didn't you agree to let Chin move out? Isn't it normal for her to live with a man and be intimate with a man? I have lived for so many years and experienced so many things. Logan has a clear understanding of the relationship between men and women. But, this, it also, I didn't know she moved out to live with men, I always thought her friends were women. Professor X is numb. After raising Chin for so many years, she has long regarded Chin as a half-daughter. I didn't expect how long it took. And he agreed to let her move out. Logan recalled it. Co-author Professor X thinks that Chin's friend is a woman, so Tuan is so relieved to let Chin move out. Logan shrugged, it's not you who agreed to move Jean out. I, Professor X was at a loss for words. If I knew that the other party was a man, I would not agree. But it's too late to disagree now. Just because the opponent can suppress the Phoenix Force, it is not comparable to myself. Maybe it is also a mutant whose strength can reach the world-killing level. In Professor X's heart, the more I think about it, the more I feel bad. Why didn't you ask more questions? Suddenly, he cast his hopeful eyes on Logan. Logan knew right away what he wanted to do. He swore he would never go there again. Charles, I'll go over to Eric right now, I think your plan is going to speed up. For the future of mutant. After finishing speaking, Logan Wright pointing arrow sneakily ran out of the office where X taught. Professor X, you are the roundworm in my stomach. I haven't said anything to fool. Tonight is destined to be a sleepless night for Professor X. Even if you are asleep, you have to give yourself two slaps when you wake up. Then ask yourself three times, why didn't you ask clearly? Early morning, Lynn relaxed her shoulders and woke up from the bed where the two girls were sleeping soundly. Seeing this scene, Lynn shook her head and smiled. It's so naive that two people just beat themselves up. Everyone lost in the end, and Lynn took out three fairy beans in the middle. In Gwen's case, she will be able to recover when she wakes up today. As for the piano, I guess I have to get a good night's sleep. After Lynn washed up, she came to the rooftop and enjoyed a beautiful sunbath while having breakfast. How could this kind of life be a comfortable one? Not long after, Gwen also woke up in her sleep, looking at Chin beside her, she remembered what happened last night. I couldn't help complaining in my heart how Lynn is so good, and Sister Chin was defeated by her. Gwen became more and more angry. It is a lie to say that there are no plowed fields, but exhausted cattle. Chin was still sleeping soundly, which showed how tired she was from being tormented by Lin last night. If Gwen hadn't been super recovered, she might still be asleep now. After waking up, Gwen found Lin on the rooftop. Unceremoniously lying on top of Lin like an octopus. Don't you have to go to school today? No need today, but there is an open-air concert in the afternoon, and you and Sister Chin want to watch it together. Good. Lin agreed. Hearing that Lin promised so simply, Gwen burrowed into Lin's arms like a child. The projection of the Red Queen also appeared beside the two at this time, although no sound was made. But there was a hint of envy in his eyes. It just flashed for a moment, then disappeared without a trace, and was not noticed by others. After Gwen and Lin got tired of Crooked for a while, they got up, washed, put on their battle suits and headed to school. Next time, let Gwen wear the spider battle suit once. Lin thought so. After all, on the previous Earth, there were not a few people who cause Spider-Man. But it's Gwen Spider-Man who feels that way the most. This way of dressing a battle suit is still too troublesome. Red Queen, I remember Skynet's data curry has liquid metal, right? The projection of the Red Queen appeared. Yes, Master, now my data curry has the data of the liquid metal robot. The Terminator T-1000 is made of liquid metal, and its body can be transformed into various forms and weapons at will. Even if it is melted at high temperature, it can still return to its original shape after cooling. If Gwen uses this technique to make a spider battlesuit, he won't have to worry about wearing it anymore. Can liquid metal be used to create a new ghost battle suit for Gwen? The data in the pupils of the Red Queen Blue flickered, as if calculating the possibility of the completion of this plan. Yes, Master. And if you use a special metal, the power of the battle suit will be greatly increased. It can even add a special ability to absorb kinetic energy to the battle suit. 
absorb kinetic energy. Lin's eyes moved. There is only one such metal in this Marvel universe. BBT. Vibranium. The Red Queen nodded. Yes, I found this special metal after searching the data all over the world, this metal. However, this metal is very rare and can only be bought on the black market. It's also very expensive. Money is not a problem. Lin smiled. He was not ambiguous at all about spending money on his own people. And Vibranium doesn't want these devices, you can find Tony at any time. As for the black market, just follow is not a problem. Didn't I accept a younger brother, is there anyone who understands the black market better than him? In New York City, somewhere in an office building, Jin Bin was standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows, overlooking the entire New York City. He's just the yellow emperor of New York City's underground world, an aboveground world that can barely pretend to be a philanthropist because of his underworld status. He has no chance at all for the real high-level society. For example, he was not among the people invited to Tony's ball not long ago. Because none of the people above is willing to be with him. After watching for a long time, Jin Bin sighed. At his level, it is easy to clean up, but it is difficult to really integrate into the wealthy circle. I heard that some time ago, several of our little brothers disappeared. Have you found out what happened? Jin Bing glanced at the female secretary beside her with an exquisite figure and a big thing. Yes, Kim is the boss. This guy should have done it. The female secretary took a photo and made Jin frown. What is this? The mutated lizard man who appeared in New York City some time ago was said to have almost destroyed the whole of New York, but was stopped by Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Another nasty superhero, let alone a daredevil against me. Now there's another Spider-Man. Recently, Jin Bing also received complaints from his subordinates about Spider-Man, and he wanted Jin Bing to do something to Spider-Man. But Kim tried and failed to find any information about the other party. Just like Daredevil. But since his subordinates were killed by this mutated thing, there was nothing he could do. Anyway, they are some unlucky peripheral members. Never mind. Just say they were killed by mutant, don't worry about them. Because, just as he finished speaking, the phone in the secretary's arms rang. Hearing the ringtone of the cell phone, Jin Bin frowned, it was his personal cell phone. Very few people know. They were all his confidants, and Jin Bin had told them not to make this call for unimportant matters. The female secretary picked it up and took a look. Boss Jin Bing, it's an unfamiliar number. Unknown number. That's even more wrong, all my numbers are stored. You answer, listen to who it is. If it's a wrong number, just hang up, and check the other party's information by the way to see if it's really a wrong number. Jin Bing's number is extremely secretive. Even if you make a mistake, you have to take it seriously. The female secretary picked it up, and gave a tentative hello first. Then a very magnetic male voice came from the other end of the phone, is Jin Bin there? The female secretary swore that she had never heard such a nice voice after following around a group of bad men all day long. Put her in a good mood. But when Jin heard this voice, he broke out in a cold sweat. Unwilling memories flooded his mind again. It's Lin. That monster. Just as the female secretary was about to ask something, Jin Bin pushed her away and snatched the phone. Then she saw an unbelievable scene. Own boss. Jin Bing, the biggest boss of the gang, is actually adopting an almost obsequious posture at this moment, nodding and bowing even through the mobile phone. Mr. Lin, may I ask what you want from me? That's right, you are familiar with the black market. I need a batch of vibranium, can you help me find a buyer? Vibranium. Jin Bing is also an old fritter who has been in the rivers and lakes. He has definitely heard of this substance, and it is known as the hardest metal in the world. Even in the black market, it is something that cannot be found. Definitely, that's for the beholder. For Jin Bin, there is nothing that cannot be bought, it just takes some time. Okay, no problem. Mr. Lin, when do you need this batch of vibranium and where should I send it to you? Jin Bing's appearance, then what is the proud appearance of a gangster boss? Not even dogs are so flattering. Lin's attitude towards Jin Bing is indifferent. You help me find it first, and I will transfer the money to you when the time comes. When you find it, just use your mobile phone to dial this number directly to find me. Okay, but you don't need money. 
How dare Jin Bing take money from this god of killing? If he makes the other party unhappy, the life he hasn't enjoyed will be gone immediately. Lin didn't bother to talk nonsense with him, so she hung up the phone directly. Jin Bing didn't dare to be annoyed when the phone was hung up on his own initiative. Instead, he regained his majesty as a mafia boss and looked at the secretary beside him. What did you see just now? The female secretary's face was immediately filled with fear, and she prostrated herself on the ground. Boss Jin Bin, I didn't see anything. I heard nothing. Well, let's go down. Thank you, Boss Jin Bin. The female secretary ran out recklessly, when suddenly there was a gunshot from behind. When she realized it, the white overalls on her chest had been dyed red, and finally she'd passed away under incomprehensible complex eyes. The sound of gunfire immediately attracted a group of bodyguards. Pushing open the door, O2O saw that Jin was fine, only the female secretary fell to the ground. Jin Bing kills people, and it is not easy for others to ask why. It can only be that person's own bad luck. Jin didn't allow his ugly appearance to be known by the second person besides Lin. Not even if it's your own confidant. After the scene was cleared, Jin dialed a number on his personal phone. A hoarse voice rang out on the other end of the phone. Jin Bin, it's really rare that you will come to me. Why, who do you want to buy weapons with me? Jin Bing's face darkened. Stop talking nonsense, how much vibranium do you have? I need to. The seller wondered if he had heard wrong. People like Jin Bing actually want vibranium, which has always been sold to researchers. What does he, a mafia boss, want to do here? The first thing that came to mind was that Jin Bing wanted to do something, and he wanted so much vibranium because he wanted to do something big. Do you want to be a big ticket, do you want me to help you? That tone obviously wanted to share a piece of the pie. Stop talking nonsense, do you have it, and if you have it, I want it all. Definitely yes, I guess I am the only one who can find this thing in the whole world. Except for me to buy, you can't find anyone else. The man was extremely confident. It's as if vibranium was made by them. This kind of self-confidence made Jin feel disgusted, because he was like this before, until he was educated severely. But Jin Bing also knew that what he said was right, the source of the metal vibranium was very mysterious. He is indeed the only seller in the world. As for where it came from, only he himself knows. The old rule is to enter the port at the port, and my people will receive it. If there is no problem with the payment, we will send you the money directly. A smile came from the other end of the phone. No problem, Jin Bin. We have cooperated so many times and I definitely trust you, but you still don't want to tell me why you bought so much vibranium. Jin Bing's face turned black. You want to know, I want to know more than you. But the key point is that I have to dare to ask. Okay, stop talking nonsense with you, bring it to me as soon as possible. The sooner the better. No problem. Jin Bing only hung up the phone when he heard the other party's assurance. When the phone was hung up, the door of the room was knocked open, and a white secretary who was even more handsome than before came in. Boss Jin Bin, I will be your new secretary from now on. When he said this, there was obviously a hint of vibrato. She had seen the secretary entity who died just now, so she was a little scared now. Jin didn't look at her, and passed the phone directly, putting it between two meatballs. Remember, just be clever in the future. When you know you shouldn't listen, you should leave quickly. Yes, boss Jin Bin. Shield. Nick Fury looked sad. Now it seems that it is self-defeating, and Tony doesn't know if he can be pulled into the Avengers team in the future. Tony has always been his first choice. But now Nick Fury said that he just wanted to be quiet. After thinking about it for a day from yesterday to now, he couldn't figure out where he was wrong. Even if Hill went to check, he couldn't find anything. The only person Tony had been in contact with recently was a writer. Then Nick Fury focused on investigating this writer, and found that the other party's family background was extremely innocent. And Tony also met at the dance. Both of them belong to the type who like to play, and Nick Fury thinks it's normal to get together. Did the Avengers plan just die like this? Nick Fury is a little bit unwilling, so to speak, this is a plan he has planned for many years and decided to implement after defying all opinions. If it ends before it starts, 
he will have no place to speak when he is the Secretary of State in the future. Tony gives up now, Dr. Banner continues to observe, who else? In Nick Fury's heart, he is constantly screening suitable candidates. Suddenly, the door of the office was opened directly. It's Hill again. Nick Fury just wanted to go crazy. It was because of this last time that Hill discovered his little secret, and now Hill is doing it again. But after seeing Hill's panting look, Nick Fury realized. This time something really urgent happened. Hill, what happened? Director, a scientific expedition in the Arctic Ocean, discovered the body of Steve Rogers. What? Nick Fury was not calm for a moment, and stood up from the chair. Some inconceivable asked, are you sure? Captain America Steve Rogers. A hero during World War II and a representative of the spirit of the beautiful country. It can almost be said to be the spiritual pillar of that generation, and everyone knows it. Even now, there is still a museum dedicated to him to commemorate his heroic deeds. But it's a pity that, in order to crush HYDRA's conspiracy, he drove a fighter plane into the Arctic Ocean. Just disappeared for 70 years. During this period, Howard led the search and rescue team and searched almost all possible places. In the end, only Tesseract was retrieved. As a result, you told me now that you found Captain America. It's a bit unbelievable for anyone to change. Because it is so magical. Hill nodded emphatically, then showed the tablet to Nick Fury. There is only one picture on the tablet, inside an ice layer, there are all kinds of sophisticated instruments in the ice layer. It looks like the interior of an airplane. A round shield appeared in one corner, and there was also the iconic red and blue five-pointed star of the beautiful country on the shield. Not far from that shield, a blonde man stood there as if sleeping peacefully. If you can find a more appropriate adjective. That's the old popsicle. Nick Fury's hands couldn't help shaking when he saw this scene. Even if he is so calm again. Can't calm down at this moment. Not because Captain America was discovered, but because his own Avengers plan finally found a suitable leader. No, Hill. He's not a corpse. Not a corpse. Hill was a little surprised. It had been frozen for 70 years, so it didn't seem to be a corpse anymore. Specimen. Frozen meat. Expired old popsicles. Hill couldn't find an adjective for a moment. Get ready for the rescue team right away, I'll tell you as I walk. On the way, Nick Fury finally convinced Hill that what they found was a real person. Instead of a cold corpse. Captain America is not a common person, but the last Superman who received the strengthening potion and perfectly strengthened. When Howard persisted in looking for Captain America, it was because he believed that Captain America was not dead. And he also made a promise in front of Agent Carter that if Rogers fell headlong into the glacier and was frozen, will enter a state of hibernation. Just find it to revive it. Over the years, S.H.I.E.L.D. has never given up looking for the whereabouts of Captain America, and this time it really has nowhere to go. After getting on the plane, Nick Fury took out his personal mobile phone and found a number on it that he hadn't dialed for many years. We found him. After connecting, such a short sentence caused a burst of sobbing from the other side. This person is none other than Captain America's girlfriend back then and one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. Peggy Carter. Bring him back. The short dialogue further strengthened Nick Fury's confidence. Maybe he would refute what others said, but he wouldn't if it was Carter's, because it was Carter who put him in this position. Set off. Putting on all the latest equipment, Nick Fury is off. It didn't take long for everyone to come to the glacier. Nick Fury looks at Captain America frozen into an old popsicle in layers and layers of thick clothing. The scientist in front suddenly gave an unbelievable admiration. Unbelievable, there is an ecological response. Captain America is alive. All the team members involved in the rescue gave out cheers. Even Nick Fury smiled with relief. Although he was so sure about what he said just now, the moment everything was finally announced, everything would be considered dusty. Begin excavation work to build a fake room in New York City. It's all filled with things from his era. Although Nick Fury failed in Tony's case, there was no mistake in his command. This incident quickly spread to the top management of the beautiful country. At this moment, some people in the top management of the beautiful country are happy, and some are superior. What happened here, Lin, who was going to Gwen's performance with Chin, didn't know. Not to mention whether he knew it or not, 
even if he knew it, he wouldn't care too much. Compared with Captain America, he still prefers Iron Man, the superhero. Otherwise, I wouldn't have pulled Tony at the critical moment. Soon, the two came to a square, surrounded by many people. Gwen and her band on stage are ready. Gwen played the drum first, and the other members quickly followed. A passionate rock music instantly lifted the atmosphere of the audience, and many people shook unconsciously. Chin also praised, I heard that Gwen can play drums before, but I didn't expect Gwen to play drums so well. Yes, Lin also praised without hesitation. Gwen on the stage, as if she could hear the compliments from the two, smiled knowingly and continued to play. But at the climax of the performance, a violent explosion suddenly occurred in a bank not far from the end of the street. Huge amounts of bangs, and the sound waves after the bangs. All the people present who directly overshadowed the sound of the Gwen rock band were also shocked by the sudden explosion. It's New York City after all. All the citizens basically have PTSD, and the moment they heard this voice, they subconsciously started to flee. All the bands on the field also began to feel uneasy. Gwen frowned and looked at the flames in the distance, and immediately realized, pack up your things and go. I'm going to find my friend. Gwen, you have to be careful yourself. Gwen leapt off the stage briskly. If it was before, it would definitely surprise others, but now who has the time to care about how she got off the stage? Escape is important. Lin and Chin also frowned and looked in that direction. Zongchen's expression was the worst. Are you a robber who ruined Gwen's performance? Gwen also ran over at this time. Sister Chin, your mutant identity is not suitable to be exposed in this kind of place, let me go and have a look. Don't worry, Gwen can handle it. While the three of them were talking, a winged figure flew out of the flames. It can be clearly seen that he is still carrying a bag. The zipper of the bag is not closed and the USD is constantly falling out. Is that the man who did it? Lin took out her mobile phone and asked, Red Empress, is that person willing to remit? My lord, that man is Edrian Toombs, an electrical engineer. Electronic engineer. Jean and Gwen then looked at the phone. Are electrical engineers that good? Without waiting for the two to raise their own questions, the Red Queen continued to explain, he once asked a businessman friend for financial support for his own research. But the businessman later betrayed him, which led to his imprisonment, and he managed to escape from prison not long ago with his own knowledge, and completed his own research on the flight device. The businessman has died in his hands, and his goal now is to grab more money and continue his research. After listening to Hong's explanation, another famous official of Spider-Man's old enemy immediately appeared in Lin's mind. Vulture. It seems that the vulture of this universe appeared quite quickly. It's wrong to do bad things no matter what, and even disturb my concert. I will teach him a good lesson. Sister Chin, you and Lin should find a place to hide first, so as not to be affected. Chin just wanted to say to help Gwen. But Gwen still meant it. Mutants like Chin are recorded in the X-Men, if they are shot in public, it will easily attract the attention of the authorities. Lin also played the violin, trust Gwen. Jean nodded. Gwen went to the dark to complete the disguise, and then swayed the cobweb towards the vulture in the sky. Vulture didn't notice Spider-Man coming. Instead, he looked behind him excitedly, how about it, my newly designed bomb? There is no residue left from the bombing of you. Hey! You sound like you're getting old, you should be retiring when you're that old. Isn't it good to come out to work? Gwen's flamboyant style, as always, has almost become her label. Spider-Man. Oh, meddling stinky girl. As he said that, Vulture grabbed two bomb-like things from the backpack on his waist and threw them at Gwen. Gwen's spider telepathy immediately sensed the danger. Immediately, the wrist shot out cobwebs like flying darts and fired at the two bombs. The bombs exploded in the air and produced a lot of impact. The power of this thing is really not bad, do you want to sell it? Stop kidding, Spider-Man, didn't you come to catch me, but it's a pity that I can fly. Have you ever seen a spider catch a bird? Vulture knows its own situation, and spiders. Heroes definitely don't have the upper hand, but they have a space advantage. If you can't beat it, just fly and run. Is it possible that Cobweb can shoot into the sky? Vulture concluded that there was nothing Spider-Man could do, so he flapped his wings and flew into the sky. And the speed is very fast. Oh, shit. 
She's running away. Gwen also made a rare swear word. This was learned from Jean, who sometimes does this, but Gwen doesn't like it. This time it was just blurted out inadvertently. Miss Gwen, you can take him down with the spider drone. Spider drone, do I still have this function? Gwen was a little curious. Immediately, he looked at the back of his hand in the explanatory picture given by the Red Queen, and there were two spider patterns there. Gwen had always thought it was an ornament. But soon the two spider patterns seemed to come alive, and they got up and flew up. To be honest, it's more like a minister. The flight speed of the two spider drones was obviously faster than Vulture, and they quickly chased after him. After the weakness is read, it has been analyzed long ago. Two small cannonballs were shot out, directly hitting the key nodes of the mechanical wings. The wings split out of control, revealing that he stumbled in the sky and rolled towards the ground. If you fall from this height, you will almost die. Seeing that he was about to fall into a puddle of flesh, Vulture called for help in fear, just as he was about to approach the ground. Gwen's cobweb bound his feet and saved his life. Thank you, Spider-Man. You're welcome, remember not to do bad things next time. Definitely. With that said, Vulture reached into his pocket, ready to take out the bomb and give Spider-Man a fatal blow. But this time, Lu Wen will not be merciful. Directly launch a spider with an electric current, and the powerful high-voltage electric current directly electrifies Vulture and smokes his whole body. Don't try to make small moves in front of me. At this time, George also, what? Led people around. When he looked at Spider-Man again, there was not so much hostility on his face. Gwen also said at the right time, Hey, we cooperated to arrest another criminal. Director George, would you like to say thank you to me? Thank you, Spider-Man. But you can be gentle next time. George looked at the fainted vulture with pity in his eyes. No matter how old he is, he was electrocuted like this. Fortunately, still alive. I was very gentle and saved his life, but they don't seem to appreciate it very much. Gwen opened her hand and projected that scene from her own perspective. After everyone saw it, there was a burst of anger in their eyes. This is so old. Others saved him, but he was willing to harm others. After George knew the truth, he slapped him directly, get up, Ed Ryan Toombs. Even George himself didn't know why he was so angry. That slap made even Gwen feel pain. Just now he clearly said to be gentle. This slap also had a miraculous effect, and Vulture woke up with a dizzy head. When he saw a group of police officers, he knew he was going in again. Don't worry, we will take good care of you in prison this time. The evil smiles of the surrounding police officers immediately made the villain feel relieved. You, what are you going to do to me? When a bad person does evil, you can at least imagine the extent of the other party's evil. But when good people do evil, there is only fear left. Definitely, the law of the beautiful country is that lynching tongues are not allowed. But this does not mean that the police officers in the beautiful country have nothing to do. On the contrary, they have a lot of methods. After a painful meal, the hospital can't find any problems. Gwen watched Vulture being taken away, and waved lightly, bye-bye. Not far away, Lin and Chin smiled at each other. The scene that happened on the street was just that Spider-Man once became a friendly neighbor in New York City and saved the citizens. Many people are used to it. But this does not prevent the media from sparing no effort to publicize it. Spider-Man bravely fights flying robbers. A heartwarming scene between the NYPD and Spider-Man. Spider-Man's battle suit seems to have a new function. A variety of news headlines appeared on major social media and online forums, arousing extensive discussions. Definitely, there are also some people with ulterior motives who started to do other things in the name of Spider-Man. What Spider-Man is a woman, men have to rely on women to protect this type of girlfriend to punch. After that, another internet scolding war broke out. But Gwen didn't know about this, because Lin wanted to eliminate the influence of the internet on Gwen. Let the Red Queen filter these spam messages a long time ago. Trapping these people who only know punching and political correctness in the same information cocoon. Let them go dog eat dog. Definitely, there's something else that someone else found more interesting. That is, Lin's signature appeared on Spider-Man's new clothes, and many of Lin's fans will recognize it. Many people began to ask if Spider-Man was a fan of Lin's book. 
Intel Spider-Man answered yes in the public, and is still a loyal fan. Now the fans of Spider-Man and the fans of Lynn happily mingle. They definitely don't know that Gwen is the most successful star chaser of them all. In the days that followed, no villains appeared. Life as usual, basking in the sun, eating, one on two. During the period, Lin also took out ice and fire double heavenly water. Don't ask what it is used for. It's just for use. A week later. Today, both Gwen and Chin are resting time, and the two swim in the pool together. Lin came out with milk tea and said in her heart, sign in. Sign in successfully and get the magic encyclopedia. Close black lens bracket. Seeing this sign in reward, Lin was surprised. During this period of time, they are all signing into a just life, or gadgets such as fairy beans. Finally something interesting came this time. Without the slightest hesitation, Lin chose to use it directly. Immediately, a lot of information about magic flooded into my mind, and Lin changed from a magic novice to a magic master in an instant. Lin is confident that even if the supreme mage of the level godfather in Kamar Taj on earth appears in front of her now, she will not be her opponent. And after absorbing the encyclopedia of magic, Lin also knew one more thing. That is, there is an essential difference between your own magic and the magic in the Marvel world. His release of magic is at the cost of the elements of all things and his own spiritual power. The magic in the Marvel world is to make deals with those terrifying existences called ancient gods. The terrifying existence that each branch of magic admires is the same. Like Kamar Taj worships three ancient gods, collectively known as Visandi. And Kaecilius, the traitor of Kamar Taj, is the little villain with dark circles in Doctor Strange 1. They worship Dormammu, the Dark Lord. In addition, there are witches, witches, etc. Mage, and the tongue gods they worship are other people. In a word, there are many magic factions in Marvel. The only thing they have in common is that they are all sacrificing themselves and the ancient gods in exchange for strength. Unexpectedly, there is such a saying. Lin was a little surprised. If she hadn't signed in the Encyclopedia of Magic, she really didn't know about it. Then can I use my magic knowledge to create a faction in this world? Lin thought about it. It seems a bit interesting. But just think about it. Lin doesn't want to do such thankless things, teaching students how tired they are, can't they live a good life? Is it Gwen and Piano? There is still nothing fun in this world. Thinking of this, Lin has to use the newly mastered magic money. Instead, he stretched out contentedly on the deck chair and continued to bask in the sun. Feel the body slowly getting stronger. What stands out are two words. Comfortable. Immediately afterwards, the Red Queen appeared by Lin's side. Master, Jin Bing found vibranium. He asked when he could bring it over for you. It's pretty fast. Lin is very satisfied with Jin Bing's service attitude. Although it has been seven days since Lin searched for gold, Lin clearly wanted to transport a batch of vibranium to New York on the black market. What needs to be spent is not just as simple as time cost. Give him the address here, and let him ship it directly. Good. Lin believed that Jin did not even know the location of the manor. Killing him will help Lin keep it a secret. It just so happens that I recently wrote something new. Just leave it to Kim and go for it. He believes that Jinbin's ability to handle affairs will not let him down. The other side. Jin Bing was in the office, unbelievably looking at the text messages in his private cell phone. There is an address on it. This is the address of Mr. Lin's house. Just glanced at it, and Jin Bing deeply remembered it, and then directly deleted the text message. Picking up my office phone, I immediately found a group of my most confidant hands. Make this delivery. When all the subordinates received the order, they were very curious, didn't Jin quit his job many years ago? Why are you delivering the goods yourself this time? But those who can get into the position of Jin Bing's confidant know one thing, that is, what to ask and what not to ask. So under Jin Bing's leadership, everyone quietly participated in the delivery. As soon as he arrived at the gate of the manor, Jin Bin straightened his suit immediately after getting out of the car and rang the doorbell. All three people on the rooftop heard the doorbell. Who's here? Gwen in the swimming pool was the first to poke his head out and looked curiously at the door, but unfortunately he couldn't see it. Chin also felt a little bit. Immediately knew who it was. Mr. Lin, it's Kim Bin. 
Lin waved his hand. I asked him to help me buy something on the black market, and now he has delivered it for me. I'll go down and have a look. After Lin left, Gwen looked at Chin curiously. Sister Chin, who is Jin Bing? Jin Bin, whose real name is Wilson Faith, is the biggest gang leader in New York. Hearing it was gangsters, Gwen was about to leave the pool. Gangsters. Will Lin be dangerous? I'm going to go down and see. Chin held down the impatient Gwen. Don't worry, Mr. Lin didn't just ask him to buy something. And with the two of us around, he can't hurt Mr. Lin. In fact, Chin's self-confidence comes from herself. Over the past few days, her spiritual ability has become much stronger, even at this distance. She can also confidently break their necks the moment the other party thinks about it. Lin changed her clothes and came downstairs, and Jin Bing came to the hall alone under the guidance of the Red Queen. Jin looked at the Red Queen curiously, marveling that there is such an advanced artificial intelligence technology. Mr. Lin, I have bought vibranium according to your order, but it is a pity that there are not many sources. About how many? For this result, Lin was also expected. If you want a large amount of vibranium, unless you attack Wakanda, there will be very few people who will lose it. Shields like Captain America's are rare outside. But it's pretty much everywhere in Wakanda. It's almost 1,000 pounds. That is almost 2,000 jinn of vibranium. This number is definitely enough for you to make a spider battlesuit, and there are even a lot of spares that can be used for other things. Lin is very pleased with the result. Let your people drive the car directly into the underground garage. Yes. Jin Bin took out his mobile phone and explained, and the car transporting vibranium was sent to the underground garage. Lin continued, since your vibranium entered New York, it has been targeted by people from S.H.I.E.L.D., you know. I, I don't know. Jin Bing's face became a little unsightly. Unexpectedly, even though I had all kinds of defenses, I still failed to prevent the infiltration of S.H.I.E.L.D. But now Jin is more worried about whether Lin will blame himself for this incident. Don't worry, all S.H.I.E.L.D. contacts have been cut off by me. Thank you, Mr. Lin. Jin Bin breathed a sigh of relief. But he also understands that the next thing he will face when he goes back is S.H.I.E.L.D. Lin glanced at him lightly, and then continued, I was bored two days ago, so I wrote a script. How about it, are you interested in turning it into a movie, AFEG? Jin Bin immediately brought back bad memories. At the beginning, I offended Lin because of this, and how much commercial profit Lin's script could bring. Jin is not too clear. Unexpectedly, this time it was Lin who took the initiative to find himself to cooperate. Maybe it's because the other party is satisfied with what I have done this time. Thinking of this, Jin Bin's eyes immediately brightened. He has been in the beautiful country for so many years, and he has always worked hard on his own. He has wrist, scheming, and ability. What is missing is a decent backer. Isn't the backer right in front of you now? Jin agreed immediately. No problem, Mr. Lin, leave this matter to me. After the movie is released, I only need to recover the cost, and the rest of the profits will belong to you. If it is someone else who is talking about this business now, I am afraid that the subject verb level will be reversed. Let's talk about the profit distribution when the time comes. I have already sent the script to your mailbox. I hope you don't disappoint me. B. After talking about some details, Jin took everyone away immediately. Underground garage. At this time, Gwenchen also came down looking curiously at the big truck in front of her. There are many small cans in the big truck, and the black metal in the cans is vibranium. Gwen watched curiously. What are these things? Lin laughed. Vibranium. He also has another name, called sound absorbing steel. Any vibration and shock can be absorbed by him, and it has a very good ability to resist blows. Gwenchen never thought that there would be such a magical metal in this world. In her impression, the adamantium inside Logan was already miraculous. Now it seems that vibranium seems to be even more magical. Chin's idea is not wrong, because adamantium was designed. The original purpose of coming out was to create a metal comparable to vibranium. Later, through the continuous efforts of scientists, it was finally produced. Nowadays adamantium is harder than vibranium. But there is only one advantage, and vibranium has more scalability and experimentation. Then what are we buying so much vibranium for? Gwen asked again like a curious baby. 
You will know later, move these parts to the lab of the Red Queen. I come. Gwen volunteered, and the most indispensable thing in her whole body is strength. Jean smiled and watched Gwen go upstairs. Then he looked at Lin with a jealous face, is it for Gwen to make a battle suit again? She immediately understood what vibranium does. Not all, I can also make a war zone for you. In this way, you can dress up and fight with Gwen outside in the future. Hearing this answer, Chin smiled, it's more or less the same. However, wouldn't Shield's attention be brought to New York in large quantities like this? Already paid attention, but the Red Queen has erased all chains of evidence. They can't find out where this batch of vibranium ended up. Chin nodded in satisfaction, but it doesn't matter even if you find it, if the agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. finds you, you can just try your new ability. B. Chin just wanted to go back upstairs when Lin pulled her back. Chin, get in the car. Mr. Lin, do you want to? Jean glanced at the car that she had just bought, and immediately understood what Lin was thinking. Obediently walked to the side of the car. After returning to his office, Jin Bin immediately clicked on his mailbox and found the script sent by Lin. Big Hero 6 Inches. After glancing at the name, Jin Bin immediately clicked on the script. It is not so much a script as it is a page-by-page -page manga, and the plot on it immediately attracted Jin Bing. After half an hour, all finished reading. Jin couldn't hide his excitement. He was sure that once this theme hit the theaters, it would definitely explode. Go and contact me with the last animation production company, I want the best team. Make an appointment and I will go over and talk in person. Jin did not dare to neglect for a moment. It's his first time working with Lin, and he can't mess it up. If you mess up, you're really done for in New York. He is keenly aware that perhaps this time is the only chance for him to really step into the circle of the beautiful country. The other side. Nick Fury stood on the podium, Hill walked over anxiously, and said a few words beside Nick Fury. Nick Fury frowned. Tracking a gold and losing it, what are those people doing? The agent I cultivated, followed a gang leader and lost it. If this matter gets out, how can I hang around in the high level of the beautiful country in the future? But Nick Fury also understands now that it is useless to blame anyone now. Know what gold is and bring it back from overseas. Vibranium, a lot of vibranium. Nick Fury's face became even more serious all of a sudden. With so much vibranium coming to New York, is this guy trying to throw a catastrophe? I'll go find him myself. This matter must be clarified, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a special department that exists to eliminate various security risks. Just when Nick Fury was about to take Hill to find Jin Bin himself. An extremely anxious voice sounded from the communication headset, Steve Rogers woke up and broke into the safe house and ran away. Surround it with all my strength, I will go there right away. Nick Fury glanced at Hill, and then quickly left the podium. Call the city's surveillance and find the location of Steve Rogers. We're going right there now. Hill acted in disbelief. Captain America, really woke up. A person who has been frozen in a glacier for 70 years can still be resurrected in modern times. Although he has seen many scenes, Hill is still extremely excited at this moment. After finding the location of Captain America, Hill immediately drove there at high speed. This kind of racing speed is like going to death. Even Nick Fury had to say, Hill, you can go a little slower. We can get to Rogers. Osborne Industries. Norman Osborne, who was looking at the documents in his office, frowned from time to time. Where is the problem? Why are there such drastic side effects? Obviously I used Peter's blood to produce inhibin, so could it be that inhibin hasn't been produced? Norman looked at the various data tables in front of him, thinking hard about his every step experiment. Where is the problem? After he couldn't find the answer for a long time, Norman could only sigh helplessly. If only there could be a mutant to assist in the experiment. As soon as the idea came up, it was snuffed out by Norman himself. Joke. If you really get a mutant over, if you accidentally offend the mutant brotherhood. It's hard to say whether I can survive this little life. Ah. Thinking of this, Norman couldn't help but sneer. It doesn't belong to humans in the first place, and so does the government. I don't dare to catch a few to experiment, if I am in charge. While he was talking, the office door was pushed open by the secretary, boss, people from the military are here, why? 
How did they come here? Hearing that it was someone from the military, Norman immediately stood up and straightened his suit. Where are they now? Lab 1. Hearing this, Nuo Fu's face became a little heavy. Their own experiments have not made any progress so far, so they are going to the number one laboratory at this time. Isn't it obvious that you plan to watch the experiment? Norman hurriedly put on his white coat and came to the number one secret laboratory of Osborne Industry. As soon as the elevator door opened, Norman saw a few white-haired old men in military uniform not far away standing in front of Green's single flight device to observe. The flight controller is also one of the experimental results of Osborne Industries. It is a weapon for individual combat, and it has been developed perfectly. Just in time to introduce them. Norman walked over with a very humble attitude. Several generals, this is an individual combat flight weapon with very good stability. Us. Before Norman continued his introduction, the leading officer said, Mr. Norman Osborne, let's talk in another place. There are many researchers in this laboratory. Obviously many things cannot be said here. Norman's face darkened, and he immediately knew what the other party was trying to say. Okay, please come in with me. Soon, under the leadership of Norman, everyone came to another office. The decoration here is almost exactly the same as Norman's own office, after greeting several generals. Norman called two other experimenters to come in through the Bluetooth headset. These are all researchers who conducted experiments with him. When the general saw that everyone had arrived, he asked straight to the point, how long will it take for the gene-strengthening medicine to be successfully developed? There was a hint of urgency in that tone. Before Norman could speak, another experimenter first explained, General, we have entered the in vivo experiment stage. The situation is very bad. Norman glanced at the other party with a bad expression, but now that the general is here, it is obviously not easy to have a seizure. What's wrong there? After the subject was injected with the gene-strengthening agent, there were indeed many changes in the physiological data, but what followed was that the personality became very violent. Even a rabbit will become bloody and cruel in an instant, and even become a carnivorous species. After listening, several military workers discussed in a low voice. In the end, a unanimous conclusion was reached. That is the experiment failed. The leading white-headed general looked at Norman with some disappointment. Mr. Norman Osborne, I don't know how long it will take for you to develop the gene-strengthening potion. You have to know that Howard and the others were able to experiment under even more difficult conditions back then. This sentence is obviously an aggressive method. Norman said, don't worry, general, I'm currently trying to find a way to eliminate this side effect, and I should see the effect soon. The same rigorous scientific researcher continued to speak. General, I think the current experimental direction is a failure, and it should be pushed back. There's a good chance we're going in the wrong direction to begin with. Norman now has the desire to kill him in his heart. Pushing it all over again, it's easy to say. They have been studying for three years just for the current results. Norman immediately explained, there is nothing wrong with the direction, we only need to improve and improve to succeed. Their scientific researchers insisted on their own opinions, and several generals didn't want to care. Another continued, Mr. Norman Osborne, it's not something we want to rush in this matter. We also know that not everyone is as bright as Mr. Howard. When Norman heard this sentence, the more he heard it, the more uncomfortable he felt. So what if he is smart? not still a dead man, I thought so in my heart, but I didn't dare to say it out of my mouth. You can only listen to the other party quietly. This is the end of being unable to hold your head up in front of the military. If it's Tony now, I guess these few people can't beat him. Originally, we could have given you more time to perfect this experiment, but the current situation is that we are running out of time. Norman didn't understand, time is running out. Now, the Air Force Department of the beautiful country has a brand new armor, and the Ministry of National Defense has also signed a new weapon contract with Hammer Industries, and it is said that they are also war machine people. Nowadays it is only our army system, there is nothing decent anymore. Norman understood that it was another internal struggle between the military and political systems. To put it bluntly, the relationship between departments at all levels in the beautiful country is hostile. 
Now that the Air Force and the Ministry of National Defense have new technological capabilities, that's why they are so eager for Norman to develop a genetic medicine. Create another Captain America Rogers for the Army. The current army, the military administration on the side of the beautiful country can hardly hold its head up. During World War II, because of the relationship between Captain Rogers of the United States, the army was able to shine on the frontal battlefield. However, after Captain America disappeared, the army lost successively on various battlefields. Especially on the 38th parallel, it was directly crushed. Try to make brilliant white tiger flag and take it to steam buns. Since then, there has been no glory. So, Norman's experiment is their new hope. If it was before, they still had the patience to continue waiting. But it's not working now, if they don't hurry up, they will be left far behind by other departments. After figuring out the reason of the Central Plains, Norman continued to promise, several generals, please trust me. I will not let you down, I will research the gene strengthening medicine as soon as possible, W. The main purpose of their coming today is to beat Norman. Seeing Norman's upright assurance, the generals didn't want to continue to embarrass them any longer. After all, in this field, apart from Norman, they really can't think of anyone who can replace them. After explaining some more things, several generals were sent out of the laboratory by Norman. Norman didn't relax, but returned to his office and had a big fight with the rigorous scientist just now. It is very difficult to speak various languages. In the end, he succeeded in forcing the other party away, and the other party directly threw off his white coat and tore Norman's face. After finishing all this, Norman pulled a handle in his office with satisfaction. A wall of the office was opened immediately, and an independent and private laboratory appeared here. There are various living body samples inside. Norman frowned and looked at one of the cages, where several experimental white rabbits were originally kept. But now, only one of the rabbits inside is alive. The white fur on the other one has been dyed red with blood, and it is eating the corpse of its companion. But obviously in the corner of the incubator, there is feed such as vegetables. Norman frowned as he looked at the side effects of the genetic strengthening potion in front of him. I still don't understand at all what is going on with this side effect. Not to mention the solution. It would be great if we could get to Captain Rogers' tissue samples. In the history of mankind, the only successful and perfect strengthening person. Too bad the body is in the hands of S.H.I.E.L.D. Norman can only continue to think of a way. After closing the lab. Norman left Osborne Industry and prepared to go home. After getting into the car driven by the old housekeeper, he said, let's go home tonight. Okay, gluttony. The car quickly drove to Times Square, the largest in New York, but the road in front of it was blocked. Norman frowned at the scene. What happened? I don't know, sir. Norman stuck his head out of the window, but his pupils shrank. He knew the cars blocking the road. To be precise, it is to recognize the sign on it. Shield. Why does Shield appear on such a large scale in this bustling downtown area? They have always been known for being mysterious and low key. Norman opened the car door directly. Master. Wait for me here. Norman walked over curiously, and when he saw the scene in the middle, his pupils shrank suddenly. I saw a strong man standing on the square, looking at the surrounding buildings with almost confused eyes. Few of the passers-by around could recognize this person. But Norman recognized it immediately. Steve Rogers. He's not dead. For my own experiments. Norman found almost all the information about Captain America in the army, and he would never mistake this face. The scene in front of him made Norman unbelievable that the person who only exists in fairy tale picture books still has stories. Resurrected. This scene completely surpassed the scope of knowledge he had learned. Soon, another person appeared. It was Nick Fury, he walked up to Rogers and said something and took him away. Back in the car, Norman was in a trance. He doesn't understand. Why can a person be resurrected after being frozen in a glacier for 70 years? Is this also because of the genetic medicine? Why is the genetic medicine developed by Howard so powerful, but he runs into walls one after another? Thinking of this, Norman punched the car door hard. Back office. Understood, sir. The old butler didn't know what Norman saw to react so strongly. But the master has spoken, so did it. Go back to S-H-I-E-L-D's car. Nick Fury sat. 
Next to Captain America, he continued to explain to Captain America what happened after he flew the plane into the Arctic Ocean. Is there any news from Bucky after that? Nick Fury also seems to know that Captain America will ask this question. No, it has completely disappeared since then. Then what is the current state of the world? Nick Fury answered all the questions raised by Captain America. We have already prepared a place for you to live temporarily. After you adapt to this era, we will have a good chat. Captain America took the key from Nick Fury and nodded slightly. Just when the atmosphere in the car was silent, a huge amount of thunder suddenly sounded in the sky. Captain America and Nick Fury looked skyward at the same time. How long has it been since I heard thunder? If I don't count the time I sleep, it's only a few days. Nick Fury added, 70 years and zero days. By the way, if you want to apply for a new ID card for you, should it follow your previous date of birth, or give you a new date? It doesn't matter, I won't go back there in a short time. Captain America put away the key in his hand. Don't go to Yin until you fully understand your situation. This is the admonition he gave himself. At the same time, at Tony's house, Tony looked at the news from JARVIS with an expression of disbelief. Unexpectedly, he was resurrected naturally. In the picture, it is Captain America who is lost in the street. No matter how unbelievable he is, this scene really happened. Pepper also came down at this time, holding a glass of water for Tony to soak in his hand. Tony, what are you looking at? Pepper came to Tony's side to ask a curious question, and Tony used his nickname ability, an old popsicle that has been frozen for 70 years. What? Pepper saw the image projected by J-A-R-V-I-S. At first, she just felt that the person in front of her was a little familiar. After seeing the information given by J-A-R-V-I-S, I was dumbfounded. How? Dot how is this possible? Nothing is impossible, he is a Superman type. I think the temperature of the glacier put him into a kind of hibernation state. 11. In that state, the body maintains the minimum vitality that can sustain life, and can be awakened as long as the temperature is suitable. Tony gave the most professional analysis. At the same time, I was also amazed at what kind of person Howard was back then. Even such a thing can be made. As Tony looked at that image. In the sky, there was a sudden thunder and explosion. This thunder is really loud. Tony sighed. Then he took the little pepper upstairs. What a loud thunder. Gwen, who was eating, looked at the sky curiously. The sky in the distance just flashed and there was no follow-up. Dan and Lin look at each other. Chin felt that it was not ordinary thunder, it seemed to be thunder produced by some kind of energy fluctuation. It is completely different from thunder in the traditional sense. Lin felt the fluctuation of magic. Now he is also a magic master, and he can feel even the slightest magic fluctuations. What's more, it is such a powerful magic wave now. It appears that Odin threw Thor to Earth. The point of time is almost this time. I have no interest in Asgard's brotherly rivalry and Asgard's civil strife. At the moment, downtown New York. A church-like place, on the top of the building, a bald woman in a yellow monk's robe is frowning and looking at the sky. That is the direction of the thunder just now. Odin, what are you doing on Earth again? At this time, behind her, a gold circle unfolded, and a completely different world full of temples appeared over there. A middle-aged man with a slightly obese figure and wearing ancient clothes stepped out. Supreme Mage, the teaching can begin. All the apprentices have been assembled. Okay, King. Earth Asgardian, the master of the Supreme Holy Place, the strongest Supreme Mage Ancient One of Kamar Taj. Ancient One no longer looked in the direction of thunder, turned and stepped into Kamar Taj, Wong followed closely behind and closed the portal. 5. As soon as I got back to S.H.I.E.L.D., the whole S.H.I.E.L.D. exploded. As soon as Nick Fury walked in, Hill rushed up immediately, Director, did you hear the thunder just now? Nick Fury looked at Hill. Immediately analyzed other information from the other party's words. The sound of thunder is strange, and many people should have heard it. He thought it was just Common's thunder. Immediately afterwards, Hill handed over the operation tablet in his hand. Look at this. On the screen is the high altitude detection satellite of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is specially used to detect extraterrestrial intrusion. There was no need to launch this satellite, but Nick Fury insisted on launching it. After all, he had experienced a real alien invasion. 
It's just that that matter has been buried deep in his heart all the time, and he rarely talks about it with others. Even in the upper echelons of the beautiful country, few people know about it. One is because the Earth at that time had no extraterrestrial detection means, and the other is that the alien fleet just arrived at the gate of the Earth. After firing a few shells, he was scared away. The content on the tablet was exactly at the time when the thunder sounded just now. Immediately afterwards, the entire sky was filled with thunder. But the careful Nick Fury discovered that there were no clouds around when these thunderbolts appeared. This is totally against natural common sense. Even if those thunders appeared suddenly. After the thunder, a white shadow flew out of the thunder, and then fell straight down. Because the speed was too fast, it was impossible to see what was flying down. What is that? Nick Fury questioned. He'll gently swipe the screen. After the fixed frame restoration technology, we got the approximate audio and video. What is certain is that it was a hammer. Hammer. Nick Fury zoomed in on that image, indeed no matter what angle you look at it from. That was indeed a hammer. A hammer that came to the Earth from extraterrestrial space with the thunder, 877. Nick Fury's first thought was alien invasion, where's that hammer now? According to calculations, the landing site should be in the north of Norway. After thinking about it carefully, Nick Fury asked, where is Phil Coulson now? He's currently in the Middle East on a mission to observe Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner is doing well at the moment, and there is no sign of turning into Hulk. Hill added something about the Hulk. Turn him back, and let him take a small team of scientific researchers and Kay Lin Tay over there. Is it enough to bring Kay Lin Tay alone? Hill asked back. After all, that is something they have never been exposed to, isn't it not enough to bring only an advanced agent? At this time, a female voice sounded from behind the two, believe in Barton's ability. The two looked back, and it was none other than Black Widow who was copied by Tony. Black Widow walked up to Nick Fury and handed him a document. I suggest you take a look at the mission report this time. Nick Fury took it, with a hint of displeasure in his eyes, but it wasn't for Black Widow. Instead, report to this task. In Tony's case, he can be said to be overturned. I don't want to read this mission report at all. So naturally, Black Widow's suggestion was ignored. Romanov, go and continue your previous mission. Just let K. Lin Tay go over there. Definitely, I will never interfere with his mission. Black Widow smiled and left the sight of the two. Just let K. Lin Tay go. Nick Fury repeated it to Hill, who then said, Okay, I'll make it work. Before that, let's go see Jin Bin first. I was going to go before, but it was delayed because of Captain America, so a large amount of vibranium flowed into New York City. Nick Fury had to be careful. Regarding the many uses of vibranium, Howard has studied a lot before. One of them is that it can be used as a high lethal weapon. Not long after, Hill came to Nick Fury again, we found Jin Bin's whereabouts. Half an hour ago, he just came out of an animation film and television company. I went to talk about a film and television cooperation. Nick Fury was stunned on the spot. What? You said where did Jin Bing kill a few people? He was able to accept it, and Jin Bing went to talk about a film and television cooperation. Want to play female star? But it's not right, I went to an animation film and television company, and there are no female stars anywhere. Could it be that Jin has recently fallen in love with the paper man? Could this batch of vibranium have something to do with this film and television cooperation? Hill's mind was blown. Nick Fury glanced at the other party speechlessly. Vibranium is used to make movies, which is not a luxury. Call it a waste. What a waste. Right now the world's top box office can't buy much vibranium. Hill also realized how narrow his thinking was from the look in Nick Fury's eyes. Locate his location, we should talk to him. Don't be an underground emperor for a long time, and you really think you are the emperor of New York. Good. Hill jumped into action immediately. Tony's home. Tony who is enjoying a candlelight dinner with Pepper, is telling those cold jokes that only he can understand. Little Pepper also smiled cooperatively. When Tony was about to say something, the door of the restaurant opened automatically, and Happy walked in with something like an envelope in his hand. Tony could see that Happy looked unhappy. Immediately joked, What's wrong with you, Happy? Are you broken in love? 
Happy said he didn't want to talk to Tony, and Black Widow was dismissed for no reason. Even knowing the reason, the hurdle in my heart is still a bit difficult to overcome. From Harpy's own point of view, he is obviously about to win Black Widow. Just a little short. Tony, I said that I don't want to have too many discussions on this matter. Okay. I originally wanted to say fly to S.H.I.E.L.D. and make an appointment with that Romanov agent for you. Really. Happy was overjoyed, but realized right away that Tony was joking. Pepper gave Tony a blank look, and Tony just ate a piece of steak and blocked his mouth. Then Happy gave Pepper the invitation letter in his hand. Hammer Industries will have a press conference tomorrow night, and I hope our representatives from Stark Industries can attend. Obviously, this invitation is not for me. Pepper handed it back to Tony. Tony was full of rejection all over his body. No number no, happy is for you. So you better go. Tony swore that if he ever saw that guy again, he wouldn't be able to resist hitting him. Just imitate yourself. Also imitated nondescript. Was I like that before? Pepper opened the invitation letter and took a look, knowing that this kind of business activity was unavoidable for him. You come with me tomorrow night, happy. No problem, Miss Pepper. Shall we sit down and eat together? Tony said with a rare invitation. But Happy knows his tricks. No thanks. I ate it when I came. After speaking, he left Tony's house and drove home alone sullenly. Here Tony is also full soon. Then I returned to my newly renovated laboratory. J-A-R-V-I-S are the preparations for Mark VI done. It's all done. Do you need to wear it? Sir. Definitely. Come on. Tony stood on the dressing table, and several robotic arms put on the brand new Mark armor for Tony under the control of J-A-R-V-I-S. As soon as he put it on, Tony could feel the difference of the new armor. Immediately soared into the sky and began to enjoy it. Maybe I should hang out at Lin's. I believe he is also eating at this time. Tony turned around and flew towards Lin's house. He talked about going to play, but in fact he was greedy for the milk tea at Lin's house. Soon, Tony landed on the lawn of Lynn Manor, but as soon as he landed, something embarrassing happened. He found that his Mark armor was out of control. J-A-R-V-I-S, are you still there? J-A-R-V-I-S. Can't even get in touch with J-A-R-V-I-S. Now Tony is flustered. Could it be that the armor is offline? How could there be such a low-level bug? Impossible. With my own genius design, how could there be such a bug? Fortunately, we have arrived at Lin's house. Ask Lin to come out and help herself. Hi, um, come and help me. Tony tried not to speak too loudly, but made sure Lin could hear him. After all, this kind of thing is too embarrassing. The less people know about it, the better. Soon, Tony heard Lin's laughing voice. Okay, Tony is not malicious. Let him go, etc. Tony immediately heard the problem, is it the Red Queen? That is to say, the moment he landed, the system of the armor was hacked, and J-A-R-V-I-S was forced to go offline. How can this be? Last time Tony also saw the Red Queen. With the blessing of Tony's own pride buff, the Red Queen should not be stronger than J-A-R-V-I-S. But now, soon, J-A-R-V-I-S returned to the Warframe system. Without Tony asking questions, J-A-R-V-I-S explained by himself, Sir, I was forced to go offline just now. Really. The armor was restored, and Tony took off his mask. Finally, I saw Lin standing in front of the house, Gwen and Chin, and the Red Queen who looked like a little girl. The moment after seeing the Red, Tony's pupils shrank. Illusion. Must be an illusion. What am I dreaming about? I saw anger in the eyes of an AI. In fact, the Red Queen was really angry, angry that Tony fell into Lin's manner without saying hello. If it wasn't because Tony was Lin's friend, he would have exploded his battle armor the moment he hit the ground. Get Tony killed. Come in, Tony. Thanks, Lin. When Tony was about to walk in, Lin glanced at Tony, can't you take off your armor and come in? Please, I haven't researched the automatic wear function yet, but I will experiment with this function in the next version. So now all I can do is. Lin remembered, Tony was in New York. It was only during the Great War that the armor that could be worn without support was developed. Then come in. Tony swore he was right this time. He saw disgust in the Red Queen's eyes. That's right, disgust. Lin walked into the room first, 
followed by Chin and Hong, and Gwen walked forward very curiously. He tapped Tony's chest lightly. It made a metallic sound, and then said with a little disgust, it's very strong, but it's too bulky. Tony's self-confidence was completely shattered. The high-level executives of the beautiful country conspired and conspired to get all kinds of things they wanted to get, but Lin has always been disgusted here. Never mind. Don't be angry, just drink a cup of milk tea to suppress the shock. In the room, Tony sat down wearing a bulky Mark VI, brought a few cups of milk tea and put them down. After Tony took a sip, the depression just now was eliminated. Lin, has your Red Queen's AI level increased? I found her anthropomorphic emotions. Lin smiled. As expected of Tony, it was just a glance. Tony said, can he not find out? That disgusting look. Yes, she will collect big data from the internet for her own data supplement and evolution. Tony nodded, not a bad idea. Although JARVIS can also search data, Tony never thinks that the data provided on the internet will have its own benefits. Looking at the appearance of the Red Queen now, it seems that she has become small. After going back, we must redesign JARVIS. After all, in this regard, he does not want to lose to anyone. Tony, what are you doing here? Tony originally wanted to say that he was here to show off his new armor, but he remembered the scene at the door just now. I don't want to talk about it. A battle armor that was subdued in an instant, what else is there to show off? It's also good that Lin and the Red Queen are not malicious, if the person who restricts the armor is his enemy. He was a living target standing in place just now. No, I miss your milk tea. As he spoke, Tony took a big sip showing an expression of enjoyment as if he was smoking marijuana. If he hadn't analyzed the ingredients in it, Tony himself would have wondered if Lin had added ingredients. Lin didn't object to Tony coming here for a drink, because Tony was also one of his few friends in this world. Red Empress, do you have anything to say? Lin noticed that the Red Queen had been staring at Tony's armor, and seemed to have something to say, but didn't want to say it. Tony immediately spoke up. I think it must be because my armor technology exceeds her imagination. So she wants to analyze my 2.2 armor, and then make a set for you. No, I'm just thinking that you won't be tired wearing such low-level things. Tony almost spit out his milk tea. Low-level. His latest model of Mark armor was actually called low-level by the Red Queen. Lin also shook her head and smiled wryly. He didn't expect the Red Queen to be so direct. Seeing his painstaking effort being ridiculed, Tony became excited all of a sudden. Tell me, why is my battle armor so low level? The Red Queen looked at Lin and asked Lin for advice. Because Tony is Lin's friend after all. With Lin's nod, the Red Queen opened her hand and released the design of the armor. This is what she just analyzed, not obtained by hacking JARVIS. Although Gwen is a top student, but seeing this kind of mechanical related stuff is also a headache, so he simply didn't read it. The Red Queen pointed to the chest of the battle armor, the only remarkable thing is this energy device, the substance inside I can't find matching elements on the earth. Being praised, can Tony be happy? Cannot. Because this thing was invented by Howard. Immediately afterwards, the Red Queen began to say that it was not enough. The summary is that the mech is too heavy, which affects mobility, too many artillery weapons and equipment, and there are also shortcomings in energy propulsion. For half an hour, Tony's Mark VI was criticized by the Red Queen. The Red Queen almost blurted out, what rubbish battle armor. Normally proud Tony, depressed for the first time in my life. And I'm still depressed in my own field. That way, it's like being wronged by the sky. But the Red Queen is not only good at scolding people, and soon began to provide advice on modification to Tony. In this way, because of the unintentional move of the Red Queen. The strongest Iron Man in history will be born soon. Outside the manor, Tony soared to the sky, and the Red Queen was unhappy again. Because of Tony's sprinkler, that lawn was scorched. Lynn shook her head helplessly, but it's okay to think that Tony will come to visit often in the future. That piece of land will be reserved for future use when he comes to visit. I don't even bother to repair it. Lin comforted. Red Queen, it's all right. He is my friend, although he is careless and out of tune, occasionally annoying, and he is a bit of the cheapest. But the people are not bad. Tony, who flew home in the air, sneezed suddenly. 
Chin looked at the Red Queen in disbelief. Red Queen, you are teaching Tony Stark today. When I was at Xavier's school before, Professor X gave Chin most of the noble materials. One of them is Tony. Tony's life is very exciting, but it can be summed up in two words, genius. And a proud, complacent, annoying genius. But such a genius who is unsurpassed in his own field was actually trained by Lin's AI all night. Chin said that during the days with Lin, there is so much to see. Gwen didn't think there was anything strange, after all, Lin is so powerful, and so is the Red Queen. My battle suits are all made by Lin and the Red Queen. Tony Stark's battle suit is too bulky. Lin is going to take the two girls back to the room first. Tonight, I have to try which kind of low temperature candle that can't stop dripping. The Red Queen said at this time, Master, Nick Fury is looking for Jin Bing. Leave them alone. Understood, Jay. New York late at night is always dead of night. Because for the beautiful country, entering the night represents danger, and anything can happen. Therefore, if it is not necessary, almost no beautiful Chinese will choose to go out at night. Definitely there are also some people who are totally unafraid of this danger. Such as Jin Bin. At this time, he was going home in his special car. No way, almost none of the models on the market can accommodate him. So I can only find a car company by myself and order one. Suddenly, the driver in front slammed on the brakes. Although Jin Bin was sitting as firmly as Mount Tai, he still couldn't help frowning. Before he could ask what happened, a figure directly opened the car door and stunned the driver in front of him. Jin squeezed his crutch tightly, ready to fight at any time. A voice came, making him give up the idea of resistance. Jin Bin, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Nick Fury. This voice, even if turned into gray gold, would not recognize it. The next moment his car door was locked, and that annoying brazed egg head was right outside the door. Those who did not come in person sat in. I'm sure you know what I'm looking for you for. Jin smiled lightly. Director Nick Fury, I have always been law-abiding, especially your shield. I have violated every law. Why, did you come to drink with me today? As he said that, Jin took the initiative to open the refrigerator in the car, took out a bottle of good wine and poured Nick Fury a glass. Nick Fury also drank it politely. Where did you get that batch of vibranium? Vibranium? What vibranium? Jin Bin's attitude made Nick Fury feel a little uncertain all of a sudden. Logically speaking, Jin Bin didn't dare to deny it in front of him. Although I thought so in my heart, Nick Fury still didn't show it. He gestured to Hill and took the tablet from Hill's hand. Then prepare to call up the records about the vibranium transaction, and some evidence about the gold. It doesn't matter if you don't look at it, Nick Fury was dumbfounded when he saw it. All evidence is gone. His intuition told him that someone had hacked into SHIELD's database and deleted all the data on it. Nick Fury was speechless for a moment. Jin looked at Nick Fury pretending to be angry. Director Nick Fury, S.H.I.E.L.D. and I have always been in trouble. If you want to wrong me, you have to find some good reasons, right? Ten minutes later, Jin Bin's car continued to move away. Only Nick Fury and Hill were left at the scene, and Hill was still checking the data on the tablet. In the end, he could only helplessly shake his head at Nick Fury. It seems that there is someone behind Jin Bin. Nick Fury came to this conclusion. Then shall we continue to search for gold unions now? Don't check it yet. The other party can delete all the evidence chains so easily, which proves that we S.H.I.E.L.D. have no secrets with him. The top priority is to fix the vulnerability of S.H.I.E.L.D. first. Nick Fury made the most correct judgment immediately. For him, it is not too easy to solve a goal. But now S.H.I.E.L.D. has been invaded, and there is no discovery yet. Annoyed the man behind Jin Bin. Once the data of SHIELD's mobile phones are made public these years, it will cause turmoil in the entire beautiful country. Hill also understood the seriousness of the matter, and immediately drove back to S.H.I.E.L.D. Upon returning to S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury stormed into the tech department, cursing and swearing. Let them look for system loopholes and find traces of intrusion. God, Tony was trained all night though. He was indeed unhappy at first, but later the Red Queen gave him a lot of solutions. The reason why a genius is a genius is not only the ability to accept other people's ideas with an open mind. You can also find new inspiration in ideas. Yes, Tony is having a blast right now.
Tonight, he will design a brand new Mark War box. J-A-R-V-I-S, have you recorded the suggestion of the Red Queen just now? Yes, sir, all of them have been imported into the database of Mark Armor. Can be used as a divine grade reference for Mark Armor at any time. Soon, Tony returned to his laboratory. After telling Pepper to go to bed by himself, Tony sat back in front of his seat. J-A-R-V-I-S, extract all the suggestions from the Red Queen just now. Okay, sir. Tony looked at all the information on his Mark Armor, and said lightly, delete all. The information on the Mark Armor is precious, if you delete all of it, you will not be able to get it back, are you sure? Mister. Is the information on Mark Armor valuable? Indeed precious. It is no exaggeration to say that releasing it may cause war between the two powerful countries. But for Tony, that's just his inspiration data. As long as he is still there, these things can be reproduced at any time. Delete. Delete completed. Then Tony started operating again on the keyboard. J-A-R-V-I-S, we need to create a new folder. Say, sir. Mark 10. Import all the suggestions from the Red Queen just now, and then I will reselect the materials. It's late at night now, but Tony is still in good spirits. With the previous experience, now it is a large-scale improvement and material replacement in the original armor technology. In the early hours of the morning, a new set of armor was designed by Tony. Still using the original color scheme, J-A-R-V-I-S. Automatic wear requires a matching experiment. This function is placed on Mark 10 2, and this one is named Mark 10 1. Okay, sir. After finishing these, Tony stretched his waist vigorously, the inspiration was stimulated, and the rest was definitely only sleepiness. And it's early morning now. In other words, Tony spent one night improving his Mark armor. It should be called the Mark 10 armor now. J-A-R-V-I-S, when will Mark 10 1 be produced? Afternoon, bandit. Tony nodded in satisfaction. The system I made myself is impeccable. Forget it, let the Red Queen come in and take a look if you have time. Tony returned to his room a little unsure, and there was only a note left by Pepper in the room. Said that he would go to work first and let Tony have a good sleep. Tony fell asleep. Little did he know that there would be a bigger conspiracy waiting for him tonight. Xavier's school. Chin came to Xavier's school early this morning to attend class, after a period of self-comfort. Professor X also accepts that Jean's friend is male. Nor did it mention it in front of Chin. Chin, who had just finished class, was about to go back to the office to continue her next class when she saw Logan just coming back from outside. Logan, where have you been? Logan briefly talked about his visit to Mutant Brotherhood during this time. In fact, there is nothing to do, just to help the two parties get in touch with each other. I came back this time with the intention of bringing gang's successors with me. Let them get along well together. Chin's expression was a little strange. With the character of Colossus, I hope we don't fight directly when the time comes. Logan thinks it's okay. The reason for choosing Colossus is that Magneto can be easily suppressed when the steel is in a state of madness. Just like yourself. It's obviously a good consideration, why would Logan feel a burst of heartache? Forget it, go to Professor X first. After saying goodbye to Chin, Logan came to Professor X's office and told Professor X about his plan. But Professor X thinks otherwise. Logan, bring two more people. I have a feeling that the big event that we mutant can actively perform is coming soon. Go get the X-Men and the Mutant Brotherhood together soon. Logan has never had much doubt about Professor X's intuition. After thinking about it, just keep the whole thing under control. It should be fine. Charles, you call all the X-Men, and I will do their mindwork with you. Good. Soon Professor X called all the X-Men, and habitually called Chin along. Chin said that she could listen on the sidelines. Professor X nodded. Maybe Chin can come up with some reasonable suggestions. A meeting that could change the future of Mutant was held in the office of Professor X. Street corner in New York City. Gwen swung the cobweb and rushed out, and the wrist shot out. The cobweb trapped the thief who was jumping ahead. After taking back the other party's bag, Gwen said as usual, hey, it's wrong to be a thief. Let's see if there is anything in the bag you stole that can prove the identity of the owner. Let me see. 
Just staying on the side of the street for a moment, it attracted many onlookers to take pictures and applaud. Gwen is used to this kind of scene for so long. Oh, found. Up. From the briefcase, Gwen found a business card, Maxwell Dillon. That's not a bad name. Immediately after that corner, a very anxious black guy rushed out. Seeing Spider-Man holding his bag in his hand, and the thief on the ground immediately understood what was going on. Hey, Spider-Man, thank you for helping me get my bag back. If I didn't have what's in this bag, I'd be fired from my company today. The black man looked happy. I almost lost my job. According to the human identification of the Red Queen, the black man in front of him is Maxwell Dillon. You're welcome, it's the duty of a good neighbor to help the citizens of New York City. Take it well, don't be robbed again. After the property was returned to its original owner, Gwen swung the cobweb and left quickly. It's going to rain, everyone is going to find a place to hide from the rain. Why? As soon as Gwen left, the surrounding crowd dispersed like birds and beasts, and only Max was still reminiscing about the encounter with Spider-Man just now. Yes, he is one of the many Spider-Man fans. I can't imagine that someone as unknown as me and without any ability can be helped by Spider-Man. Just as he was secretly delighted, the phone in the briefcase rang. Max quickly picked up the phone and answered the call. Immediately there was a burst of swearing from 870 on the other end of the phone. Max, what are you doing? Customers have come to complain, why don't you hurry up and repair the interim circuit? If there is another complaint call, you will get out of here today. Sir, I met a thief just now, fortunately there is a Spider-Man. Before the explanation was finished, there was another scolding, are you crazy, Max, how could Spider-Man help you with such a waste? If you look for a reason, you also need to find something decent. Get me repaired quickly, go. I see sir, I'm going right now. Time was running out, so Max could only stop a taxi on the side of the road and rush to the maintenance site quickly. Soon, he came to a factory. Looking at some old wires on it, I immediately analyzed the reason. Don't worry, ladies, I just need to connect that wire and you will have electricity here. Hurry up, it's almost raining. Okay, I'll be right now. Max found a ladder, climbed up the pole, and started his work. He is a senior electrician. This kind of thing is very simple for him, if the people below, don't make him nervous because of the blackout. The process will be simpler. Just when the line was about to be connected, a drop of rain suddenly fell on the ground. No one noticed. Immediately afterwards, there was a flash of light in the sky, followed by a bang, blinding the eyes of everyone present. When their eyesight recovers, Max, who was connecting wires on it, had fallen to the ground, his whole body scorched black. It may not have been blackened by electricity. Everyone fled in panic. Someone called the police and someone called the power company, saying that your people were struck by lightning, and quickly send other people to repair it. In short, no one went up to check whether Max was dead or alive at this time. Definitely no one noticed that his fingertips were flickering with electric sparks. Half an hour later, people from the fire brigade came to handle the case in the rain. But Max's body at the scene has disappeared. Ma'am, do you understand that you will be punished for reporting a false case? But everyone around is saying that an accident did happen here just now. One of the more experienced firefighters said, maybe he's fine, and he went to the hospital by himself after waking up. Since there is no one, let's call it a day. At the moment. In a muddy alley, Max was in a daze, not knowing what to do. Just remember to fix the wires yourself. But suddenly it went dark. Where am I, where am I now? I'm going to fix the wires, or I'll be fired. Suddenly, Max staggered and fell to the ground, with the reflection of the sewage. He saw himself now. The face turned into blue, and the electric arc was still vaguely entwined. A scream pierced the sky at this moment. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.